kicking like Dolomite. Last one got copyright. I'm kicking like Dolomite. Hey, one time, Last you one ready? Got copyright. Yeah. Last one got oh. copyright. Hey. You know what time it is. Every time I rhyme, it's just a sign that I'm about to kill. Yeah, it's time for weapon wheel. We got the skill, we got the games. Don't make me grab the steel. I put a hole in one like Abby did to Joe. Yeah, for sure. When it comes to aiming, I don't miss like Master Chief. I'll grab the piece and give your ass to Halo just for talking sweet. When it comes to gaming, yeah, you know our team's elite. Check the leaderboards, run the game. You should pick up your feet. You can't lose them too smooth. Just going to admit defeat. It ain't no capping around here, cause like Bond, I keep receipts. The most dangerous, better than these other guys. Try to come for us, what's like between your eyes like Jen Sakai? That's no lie, no prank. I grab the ratchet, no clank, and get my jiggy mask to show you how Jack Move got his name. Yeah. Weapon wheel Look, look, look. King of the castle, like Cooper, captain of the ship. My name ain't Blandry, but don't make me have to hit the switch. We'll dump you overboard, then watch the views. I ain't talking Twitch. Hey, yo, Alex, go ahead, talk to him real quick. Say yo, still putting wheels on the pavement. My game's so tight, it's like Jordan one lace. Hey, we stay in these gaming streets, ain't no way to be dormant. Hey, a Drake will leave your body uncharted like Lost Fortune. Coco yeah, Lost was cute. Hey, and yeah, it served its purpose, but I'm trying to give a detailed description of what a hearse is. I say we flip the switch on these again before it get bland. I see a lot of pods jacking the format like that, but damn. You hitting the dislike button? You still a fan? Talk slick in the comments and like Dutch, I got a plan. We don't do the sneak this and that's the stuff that get you banned. Last time we told your fellow squad up, you turn telling me. Go. It's like I play with the sliders up. Get it. You just got 30. Look at her, me, the time is up. Since 2015, we've been kicking game knowledge up. Dust your boots and join the crew if you wild enough. Dust your boots. Hey. Are you kidding me? Developers, developers, developers. Dolomite. You heard, huh? 40 clips kicking like Dolomite. Hey, 40 clips. Aim at your fit beam, shoddy, so much ammo, it don't make sense. Trying to compete is a sacrifice, die again in your afterlife. I'm taking a road trip, baby, tell you I get on a fight. Body guns and body counts, that's all that I tend to like. Any other podcast, a copy, it look alike. Hey, hey, and what they say? What they say, huh? Hey, what I say, hey. I put them in the dirt, toss like get hurt, no face, no case. Smashed up like a jiggy merch shirt. Sliding in that vet, I'm on get back, time to pay that debt. Weapon Wonder what weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy me still. What weapon well we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well they watch our move, they copy me still. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well, watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy your style. BG, Black Bond, Jack Move, Kiss Move, Blandrew, Alex Two. Damn man, that's a heavy crew. Other pies, they don't know what to do. They watching, they copy our every move. And they still fly like the Wii U. Jack Move voice, we saying, you hop off the roof. Long range, no scope, yeah, I'ma shoot. Just looking to play games, no David Blaine, but I'll make a nigga go poof. Oh, this not a game. Gang talk, they what you know about the slang. Hop out the range. All black master will step out your lane. Every week it's us on your screen. Every week and we entertain. It's not a thing that gets in between. Me and my team, me and my gang. When I'm on the beat, you already know. Trace to the top, yeah, we about to blow. BG my dog, he told me let's go. Sit back, relax, it's time for the show. What weapon well, we keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and still. What weapon well, we keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well, they watch our move, they copy and still. Weapon well, you weapon well. Watch I show you my weapon well. Weapon well, you weapon well. Watch I show you my weapon well. What weapon well? We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our move, they copy and stay. We got the guns on deck, no fire car, but you know I came with a tech. Yeah. Since 2015, been stepping on the seat, putting foot on next. Yeah. Set them up, super soaker, pump action, wet them up. Shooting out the Yeah, we catching up. We about to game. Drop by midnight after dark. Game and knowledge for the two. Top, Top two and not the two. Wet, wet, weapon wheel. Get the cash and grab the steel. Yeah. Wet, weapon wheel. Out the window. It's still dope. Wet, weapon wheel. They watch how we move. They copy and steal. Wet, weapon wheel. Hit the light show. It's just how you feel.
weapon well. We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. What weapon well? We keeping it true, don't care about your feels. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch out, show you my weapon well. Weapon well, weapon well. Watch out, show you my weapon well. What weapon well? We keeping it true, we keeping it real. What weapon well? They watch our moves, they copy and steal. When they had a uh, heifer with his like his his penis mm -hmm. in the bag when he was in jail, bro, like I, his penis in the bag. Episode, we, he got locked up, right? He got locked up, and they had him butt naked, but all he had was like a brown <laughs> bag to cover his his junk, and they made it fat. No, I'm I'm like, you gotta no, you gotta yeah, you gotta why, why look up that episode? Is Rocco's bar life heifer goes uh, to jail, bro? Let me see. And I've ne like I still remember that episode to this day as a kid. I've never seen it re-aired again, but I do remember. Now, did uh, you did his did his boner pop up when you looked up boners on Google Images for that video? On, or? Nah, nah, dude. What like, watch this. Uh, matter of fact, I'm I'm pretty sure that exists somewhere. Oh, so we talking about boners, my nigga. Said, well, Andrew, turn the camera on. Rock I don't have a shirt on currently, Bond, or pants. Just I mean, them. some white dudes that talk about people at midnight, don't, that's no excuse for them. Why is it an excuse for you? You pulling a jack move? You ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to take a nap before coming on to the podcast, but it just was not working. So I'm like, all right, let me just get ready. Get you a big kid? You need a nap? Yes, sir. Um, I wasn't and putting was up like gang signs. Uh, I had to put up a signal to my camera so it could follow me. Just so y'all know. What character creation for this? Nigga, they make a young thug a fucking uh, designer, nigga. Who was they making on the screen? What I was thinking. Everybody good today? I hear the streets have been hot today. Hot this whole weekend. Ever since I came back from Florida, the streets been hot. Gotta blame Sony for that one. No games. As asphalt burning. <laughs> oh, what did uh, what did Rev smell like? Bon. I don't smell other men. No, well, if you, you were around other men, parking lot, you yeah. technically have to. <laughs> yeah, that shit was funny as hell, though. We were at, uh, we were just grabbing some quick breakfast. And he tells the waiter, he's like, you know, I've known this man for 14 years, but this is the first time we've seen each other. I thought y'all niggas were lovers, nigga. Why <laughs> nah, when he up? said next, he's like, don't worry, we're not dating. I was like, that was very awkward, Rev. But nah, Rev's, Rev's a cool guy. He's, he's pretty down there and everything. What do you order at Denny's? I don't even know. Like, um... All the good stuff down there is either north of him or south of where I was at. There's literally nothing in between. I mean, in between, I rode past like three Trumps for Blacks rallies and, and all kinds of wild shit. So rather than him come 40 minutes out of his way, I had to go 40 minutes back or vice versa. We just met somewhere in the middle and the only place was a Denny's. So that's how hey, that Jay. happened. What's up? We role playing the empanada today. What's up? Nah, man, it's cold here, bro. Oh, okay. Usually it's hot. Oh, what you say? It's hot as shit in my room right now. Yeah, it's cold, it's bro. How, how's everybody's spirits, man? Y'all been keeping positive this week? Um, amongst oh, the, very good. The I've been fuckers. positive as fuck. And me too. I've been. I I stayed out of the beef. Usually I'm right in the middle. Pause. Right in the middle of the beef, right? And usually no, I mean, I'm right in the middle. You were spreading the beef. I saw you. No, I no, but that's not involvement. Mm. I was hitting a button. Right. I wasn't beefing with nobody. You're inherently part of the beef, though, because if I see point. other listen, let, let's be clear. If I see other people fighting and it's messy on the timeline, I'm absolutely retweeting that shit. Oh, like, no. let's be clear. I, I was about to say, let me see what BG liked because BG retweeted yeah. and liked my tweet. I'm retweeting mess. I want er all the fuckery that I see. I'm like, oh, this is juicy. I want everybody to see it. I'm that guy. So Repeat I'm not even going to hide that. Repeat after me. Say, I'm a messy bitch. Say that. No, I'm, I'm not saying that, sir. You t okay. I'm not saying that, but I'm absolutely retweeting your shit. It, you know, some fuckery going on. Oh yeah, I'm retweeting that. This is too good. Um, but I stayed out of it. You know, God be the blessing. Uh, listen, I don't want to. I don't want to keep us here too long. It's a. It's another week where it's uh, honestly pretty dry, and we're only here because I'm thinking of the viewers and I'm thinking of y'all work week and. The, the little bit of uh, entertainment that we can provide and, and make it better for y'all. That's the only reason why I'm here. But um, some yeah. of the viewers were even asking why we're having a podcast today. I mean, they gonna listen. So, I mean, I'm just trying I, to help like, them. I out. Said we, 
I said we should do an AMA type shit. Let the let them ask ask questions and shit. I mean, if we get these topics out the way, then, then I mean, then maybe, I, but... I say anybody who's got a problem in beef rather than hiding behind their garden, walled garden, and echo chamber should be allowed to come on Weapon Wheel. That's, that's what shirt. I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to say. I or mean, it, it, minors, it, 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 do, it don't take a lot to talk to an audience that completely agrees with you with no pushback. You'll get plenty of pushback here. You'll get your shit pushed in. You'll get pushed back and push in. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, Mercury was in Gatorade or whatever the space hippies be saying because, yeah, space everybody hippies. was beefing. Everybody was beefing this week. Light, you know, especially the light skinned people. I don't know what the fuck came over y'all. It's like, don't was, was it y'all thing. moon? Y'all moon was, was it the eclipse? It has to be something to do uh, with the eclipse. I, I right don't know. Hey. I seen, I seen Alex versus Dope is J. I seen Tony versus everybody. I seen <laughs> Jack versus Hard Eight. Like, you know, BG, BG was probably laying on the edge of his bed. With his cell phone in his hand and his feet kicking in the air, Kiki in. Oh, Retweet. Retweet. I, Retweet. was snorting creatine. And beef week don't start till June. I don't, I don't know why niggas went crazy this week. Like, yeah, we actually have crazy. I mean, look, all, 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 all I'm saying in my case, right? If you got time to take a shirt off in front of some children and talk about me for 40 minutes, you can't complain that I give you two tweets back. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. Let's be mm-hmm. real here. Oh, man. Okay. You um, should you should tag uh, Chris Hansen next time he uh, tweets that he's going live on. I don't know who that is. You don't know who to catch a NBC to catch a predator host. Oh yeah, That's uh, I'm not making those really accus- not making those accusations on people. I'm just making fraud accusations because you know yeah. I, I'm still amazed that we had this whole 40 frames per second thing when we have handheld stronger than the Steam Deck that can run at 60 frames. So shouldn't the PC gamers, like we always do, upgrade to get and meet our standards as opposed to making excuses for a product that doesn't meet our standards? That's how it's always been. But, you know, I digress. I'm sorry. Things just all of a sudden changed when a new piece of fanboy hardware got introduced to the market. But, hey, you know how it goes. Can I do y'all intro just to uh, save time? That's Jack. That's Bond. That's Smooth. That's Blandrew. That's Alex. Y'all already y'all know sure, what's by are now. We sure, are we sure that's Blandrew? I don't see his camera on. Hey, man. Who knows? Didn't right. Blandrew cost us like, uh, how much was it? $70 for not showing himself? Oh, yeah, he did. What cost happened? 70 Oh. Paul, Dude said happened? he would super chat at uh, $70 if Blandrew turned his camera on. So, Blandrew, you owe each of us uh, money. Uh, no, sir. Uh, yes, sir. You took Blanche, money you out of the podcast. Over your nipples and turn your camera on, nigga. It's not yeah, that yeah, deep. Y- y'all have known us long enough, so you, uh, know, you, you owe every you owe everybody old. fourteen dollars, Blandrew. Mm, fast Quick math, math. Bon. Yeah, that was <laughs> Quick math. Quick math. Well, you uh, know, I, I used to I used to teach it, Blandrew. So uh, I heard. That's, that's what the street said. I forgot Bond was a substitute teacher back in the day. Um, nigga, I would have killed myself if I was in fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go to Bond after class. <laughs> calling you a clown just because you can't add <laughs> oh man all right um yeah, this yeah. Is a- how did you wait a minute how did you do that um 70 divided by five no i'm not the math i'm talking about being a teacher of children <laughs> he's allowed around children smooth <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about do you, do you, do you, yeah, go, yeah, like a specific degree to do that, or you go a, to college, yeah. you have a degree, and you don't have yeah, a criminal I'm, record. No, so I'm just saying, but like, did you need a specific like teaching degree to do it. You no, know, because children say the darnest things, and, and, and you know sometimes they get things wrong. I'm just, I just can't imagine. So God what, being reasonable? What, what, what are you? What are you? No, those kids couldn't be reasonable, which is why I was like after one little summer session, I was out. But yo, know, those kids are from the fucking hood. Ain't no way. <laughs> oh, look, you didn't want to help the inner city you, you hell you no <laughs> Yo. the, oh mm, man fuck no they need to drop a bomb on that shit and start over <laughs> what the fuck what the he want to bomb um, children come what on the bond the, the children of the future can you stop dog <laughs> no I, i'm not talking about the children i'm talking about that whole Yo. educational process oh, okay. oh well all right come on um <laughs> Episode 403. We've been through this enough times. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all know how it go. iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. If you want to support the podcast, patreon.com slash weapon wheel podcast. Uh, you can become a channel member hitting the join button on YouTube. Hit the like button to support us. Some Patreon perks after dark, early access to Planet Xbox episodes. When there's actually some topics, you know, to actually talk yeah, about anything. The driest it's been in gaming. I can't In a long you. time. You know, 
probably since the, around that's 20, why that's why that's why niggas beefing yeah probably a, the last time it was this dry it was a i want to say 20 what year was that around was it 2015 it was either 22 or 20 um um wait this dry all right we got to go back to maybe 24 14 well the the it was the it was this dry when playstation was releasing nothing but indies i know that was a great time for jack but the rest of us 2014 it, it was horrible because that indie that indie realm yeah that indie era yeah it was it was dry hey then. jack it was good i know uh i know cat williams started off but i feel like i feel like jiggy tape has something to do with this man this this sudden aggression in the community dog. i, I, I apologize for that i never knew it would uh for <laughs> this many feelings i didn't i didn't know i just wanted to have a little fun in the community that's all you know you started on world like, war three and now you're cosplaying empanada i love it yeah. my bad brother yeah. speaking of the jiggy tape good job gentlemen it was a very inspirational tape it got me back in the studio wanting to make music so that's what okay. i'm doing right now thank you uh, Blend you for jiggy yeah. tape three oh my god well, i would my, love to blend you to mix and master some of the songs for jiggy tape if i all the songs actually i mean, I mean i'm i'm down to have you to, to release the blandrew's version of uh jiggy do right we just need Blandrew an extra cut verse. The I, see, I don't know if you guys even oh, like my mixing because the last time i put it in the the twitter i said I, I said i liked it i i liked it i just didn't smooth like it better than mine critical yeah. like man smooth, I like smooth it didn't like it i liked it though i had like i just mix. didn't like it better than mine so my thing i'm down to release it now, you like, know what alex just put wani on it, it, it or whatever smooth Bro, is the hold on, hold on. Have, you, have you guys seen this new cod things you could play as raptors and dinosaurs no i'm not surprised, not surprised. <laughs> like this game has jumped the ship completely Hey Jack, would the, would Jiggy Tape Three have to be a rap song? I'm not a rapper, but I do other forms of nah. music. If, if it, it had an R&B song on there on this one, if it's pleasing to the ears, man, it sound good, bro. You, nah, you I don't you know if it's pleasing to the ear. Blandrew makes sore throat music. Wow. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> what, what that mean? What they mean? What they music? <laughs> yeah, what they mean? <laughs> Look, <laughs> that's what he <laughs> doing in his music. <laughs> no, I, my, my, my stuff is more like is more soothing. The stuff that I actually compose and sing along to, as opposed to. You know, like when I try to make like video game soundtracks and boss themes and stuff like that. Hey, man, Wait, you you, you, you compose the music for your videos? No, I've done. I've uploaded a couple of them back in the day. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Like I, I did like fan because I want like I, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I wanted to be like a a video game composer. So I was di- like dabbling th- into other series and making like fan songs, like what it would hmm. be like if I made a Shin Megami Tensei song or a Mega Man song or something like that. So. How come you never told us this? Why you can still do he that? I swore I told you. I, I told you. I guys do not. I know you was making music. I didn't know. It was uh, like Alex, video you'll game. get this reference. Blandrew's like the Dr. Dre of this. You ain't gonna hear anything he puts out for a decade or two. Like mm. Blandrew takes. It takes him a month to do one video. Mm. Uh, I mean, I don't know how long the podcast is. You still doing the podcast? That's actually so, the thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I ended up getting a um, promotion for my job. So I'll be in like a management position. So oh, that's another know. reason why I can't be on management, uh, like on camera or anything like that, because they want you to kind of not be online like that. And you guys talk crazy. So that would be like a bad look for. Nah, mm-hmm. fuck that, Blandrew. Me, we be risking our careers, nigga. You better cut your Absolutely. camera uh, uh, look, no, I'm on that. camera and like look at the type of shit and I say. That could, Blandrew, I, in, in today's technology, you can AI yourself on, yeah, on a video form, bro. Like, you I don't really know. Do and that. then tomorrow, I will know what my schedule is. So it's a possibility I could be off Weapon Wheel again, or I could be staying. But I'll let you guys know. Well, judging <laughs> by what I always say, I'm going to assume that your Sundays will not be free. Nah, we'll nah, 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 nah. Blandrew's lying. If you're getting a managerial role, you ain't working on Sundays. Mm. Nah, like, I don't... You don't work on Sunday, unless you're a Walmart manager. <laughs> well, no, they, make, they make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. <laughs> well, hold, well, hold on. If, he, if he's a new manager, he might have to take the Sundays. I mean, if, if it's one of those jobs where you take work home with you, like I'm doing now, I'm actually working on financials but um then that that's the only thing but you know what like, that's a that's a good segue smooth speaking of financials what was your uh stellar blade prediction again uh i said 78 did i say 78 or 76 uh, it's, it's under 80 that's pretty he said 70 i think you're right on that smooth 70 what he said 78, 78. on twitter on twitter I'll, I'll, I'll take the over smooth so over 78 over 78 to be honest, I think you got that smooth. I don't that think game, that game's getting that game is not getting in the seventies. Y'all are insane. I don't think it's getting in the eighties. Okay, <laughs> uh, smooth. What do we got here, dog? Yeah, y'all are insane if y'all think that game is getting in the seventies. 
BG, I'm you t- thought Suicide Squad was getting in the eighties. I'm, I'm, ta- I'm taking I didn't, over but, seven I, but days, I didn't smooth. think Suicide Squad was going to be good. Smooth, I'm typing it in the book now. I just need a yes or a no. I'll let you know by the end of the pod. No, nah, we gotta know now, today. dog. Come on, I'm be <laughs> pestering you all. But Blandry said, Blandry even said you got a good deal. And Blandry even Blandry had led me astray a few times. Nah, Blandry would have mm. won two bets against me, but he backed out. He didn't want to make them bets. And it's, we got, and, it's, and it's got a lot of stuff that like the media is against as far as yeah. they don't want they don't they don't y'all like are, they don't like yeah. they don't like in shape women that can run y'all are buying too much y'all are buying too much into that y'all are buying too much into that I'm telling y'all y'all are taking that too much in, into consideration it just even as a game I didn't think it was B material so but, but Blanche you got to understand okay do you think your taste aligned with like the people who are reviewing this yeah Blanche probably no. plays the games that sell the most here no but, but, I'll do, but that doesn't I'll, have I'll anything do to do than, with what they I'll do less as. I'll do less than 81 what do, what do you mean like, less than less 81 than 81 or lower 81 or lower Anything if it's eighty one. No, nigga, lower. you said seventy eight. You can't change nah, your nah, shit now. No, why? I I never See, agreed to the. I'm just saying if you go to nigga, make it, you said seventy. You have too large of a variance on your end. But just, if it just is no say, variance. You a, said seventy eight. Score if it gets a C score seventy anything and lower smooth wins. So smooth if if you if you're if you're not confident that it'll get no because a lower seventy eight. Then why would you say seventy eight? Why would not you say eighty one? Because I'm just trying to protect myself. Less than eighty. Less than eighty. 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 Eighty oh, or less. You said seventy-eight. We gotta. Get, we gotta get this started, I'll, by the I'll, way. I'll, I'll so give we can you get seventy-nine. Out of here. I'll split the difference. Seventy-nine. There you go, smooth. All right. Final off. Seventy-nine. Okay. Block right. it in. Four twenty-one. All right. Let's. let's. Be, uh, smooth bet seventy-nine percent. I'm betting over seventy-nine. You motherfuckers. All right. And I, I I know somebody who has the game. I mean, we all know who it is. All right, but, but who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Kofi. We all know who it is. Come on. All right, Kofi we all know who it is. At every game that he gets Kofi, his hands Kofi. on. He gave Ryza Ronan a high score. And yeah, yeah. He, said, he said it was going to be like 83, 85. It, it did get that. So. Nah, I'm just like, saying. Kofi, like, the thing know, is, Ko- uh, Kofi has, like, you know, that media access uh, because they ain't too many gamers in Canada. So you um, so you go on with the narrative that, that Kofi likes everything. <laughs> Everything he gets for free? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> the narrative. <laughs> it got to be like, oh, my God. Not my God. Oh, not my Yo, God. Kofi, has, Kofi does great reviews, high production. I love him. I like. I love the reviews he does, but I have to take his reviews for a grain of salt because he's been typically over compromised the, uh, Kofi. Medic- compromised don't do Kofi. that to my – don't do that to our guy. <laughs> Listen, he, he already thinks that, like – Everybody on Weapon Wheel, associated Weapon Wheel, is like a bunch of haters, which the Discord yeah, he probably left the is. Discord, I heard the Discord probably. Well, I I think he, he hasn't been in the Discord for years. I think, but no, like but he, he left right. officially. That was all time. Right. Right. But he thinks everybody in the Discord is a bunch of haters. Y'all not help y'all. Y'all not helping us beat the. He the accusations. We, we don't go to sleep with a smile on our face, bro. That's it. It ain't that deep. Listen, yeah, I'm just saying, saying yeah, I, I don't, don't do that. Anybody here Kofi. hates Kofi or anything? No, the disc, the Discord, don't the Discord, hate that nigga, not the members here, don't but nobody, the Discord. Nobody in the Discord actually hate that nigga, bro. The only criticism yeah, I, heard is that he's, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I the, the only criticism I heard is that he's like a safe reviewer. Like he doesn't really safe take. Like, yeah, safe take, and yeah, he's positive. He's a positive guy, but he can't help that he's from he's from Canada. Yeah, his name is, isn't his name is Good Gaming Kofi? So every game is good, like, in his opinion. Listen, that's what has been printed. Right. What was the last bad game he reviewed that he considered mm. bad? Mm. I mean, but Derby? people but people ask me that question, but I, some, a lot of times I'm like, I don't play bad games, so, you know, it, I don't review bad games often. But anyway, listen, um, we'll, we'll see. I don't think that game is getting under an 80. I, I can't possibly see I, I that, but we'll, but we'll see. Um, did you we'll think see. Ronan would get under an eighty? I didn't. I wasn't excited about Ronan though. I didn't. No, I didn't just necessarily saying, like, looking at it just as a game. I wasn't I didn't think it would got. I, under I thought 80. it would get low eighties at, at at the most. I wasn't. Ain't it in know. the seventies though? It's in yeah, the it's 70s. mid like yeah. seventy six or something. I didn't think it would get that low. Yeah. So, all right, let's get let's get started. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, the Patreon perks access to the Weapon Wheel Discord. You know, submit some. Uh, you can submit Weapon Wheel trivia questions and gaming questions and, you know, submit some gameplay. I know there's ain't shit to play out there right now, uh, aside from a few things that drop seldomly, seldomly here and there that people have been playing. 
it's dry out here but uh submit all the gameplay you can to the link in the description drag and drop we appreciate it all right get to get to the very boring topics uh came to bridge of spirits finally rated for xbox coming finally! to the xbox Coming to Bro, the Xbox you platform. Trying to rush us through the beginning just to talk about no, a no, no, but one game. No, no, no. We need to talk about this. You know why? Because every since move excited, so. August of 2021, I've been tweeting them bastards. Every time they tweet about their game, Kenna Emberlast, I tweet them every time they post about Kenna. I tweet. So when is it coming to Xbox? They only responded once, and they said they said something, but they didn't give like a definitive. And then after that, I would say still not on Xbox, still not on Xbox, still not on Xbox, still not on Xbox. And eventually, it came. I'm going to start pestering these developers a little bit more if that's what it takes. But three good long years. Why? Why did Wait, it take you were so long? begging for pussy for three years, bro? Uh, Kana, Kana is a game that should be experienced by everyone. No one should Did have to. Yes, I played it and beat it. And I, I want to play it again on Xbox. Is it even on PC? Yeah, it's yes. on PC. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, but happy, happy, on, for, happy for Xbox fans. I, I hope you all play it. Um, is it I, don't, I don't think it's going to Game Pass. So you might have to pay. Well, they, well, no, they didn't announce that yet. So it probably is. After three years, it, it should go yeah, directly into Game Pass. Pass. Game. Yeah, I mean, after that's three what years, I would yeah. use Game Pass for, man. Like once my game isn't hot anymore, like get some extra yeah, yeah, one yeah. stop selling, get some extra money. Like, yeah, let me get that Game yeah. Pass check. Yeah, definitely put that in Game Pass. That would that would make sense. Um, so yeah, listen, I, I hope y'all like it. Yay for y'all. Uh, sure, it's a you know, I'm not even hating. It's just like Kana. Like that's what we're talking about in 2024 because shit is so dry. Kana, you know, shit that we enjoyed three years ago. Is what it is. Feels good to be back on Warpill. Feels like I haven't seen you guys in a while. Yeah. You've been out gallivanting, you know, hitting the streets like, like a little dot. I don't know about you know? that. I got okay. some good after dark stories coming though. Oh man. Okay. Uh okay, next. Um Little Big Planet three servers are shutting down. Oh no. What will we ever do? Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody. Um of course people in I've the been comments. Muted, section, PG. What you did you cry about it? Um, no, I actually celebrated a little bit. Um, of course, of there were people acting like they still play Little Big Planet Three, or they ever play Little Big Planet Three. Uh, game preservation. Oh, it's dying. Like, who the fuck cares, bro? Like, um, I'm a little. I'm a little. I got a, I got a comment on game preservation, right? Let me ask you all a question. Most games you want to play, you pretty much play when they come out, or roughly in the same year. Like, like literally, how many like games two, three years old are you buying to play? Almost never for me. Every every time they go on sale, my nigga. Jack, um, Splendor, smooth. It I, I hear it the thing. Not Here's not the Game thing. Pass smooth. I'm like one. Like, no, no, I'm no. not Game Pass. No, once a month I buy at least two games for the Xbox 360 era. So really? like physical. It, no, not physical, digital. Okay. Um. So, and that's the reason. It's like I, it wouldn't have crossed my mind. Um, but because I do do that and I look at the store, I'm like, all right. And there's some games they do, they give, kind of give you a heads up. Like this game is come, becoming delisted. If I, if I'm remotely interested in it, I go buy it before they delist it. Cause once they delist it, you can still play. You just can't buy it again. And there's a lot of games on the 360 era that has been, uh, delisted to oblivion that I can't buy. Um, or, or I can't even buy on, I can buy on this, but they're not even backwards compatible, but that's the, that's the only thing, but I don't really have like the smoke with the whole uh, preservation argument, but there is an appreciation for it, but you are right when majority of the gamers who are buying games, when they're new, they're buying that up front first uh, three, four weeks of its release. That's when majority of the people will buy or consume that uh, game. So, uh, but you got a case like now, you know, where Fallout is a lot of people TV are show, buying yep. or buying it and whatnot. Um, if those games weren't, you know, playable or available to pick up again, and that would be, you know, a problem. So, so here's the point I'm making. Here's the point I'm making. I have no problem with people buying old games, playing old games. I got tons of old games, but the people that speak loudest and hardest about game preservation and oh, they won't sell this to me or I want this and I can't buy it. Why didn't they buy it when the game came out originally? Oh, wait, they weren't 
interested in that game. The game wasn't interesting enough for them to buy it when it originally came out. But then they complain, not one, not two, but three generations later that they can't play it. They got to pirate it. That, that just sounds crazy to I, me. I'm sorry. I don't like that argument only because there are times where it, when a game comes out, you're not in the space to receive it and or it's moments like this where it's dry as fuck. Why so you might want to just go why, back. Oh, 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 why wouldn't you be in a space to receive it? <laughs> there are some games. There's games in, even in recent history where I'm just like, bro, I really don't have the time to want to invest to play that. In recent history, but I'm talking about these people are talking about generations ago. Yeah, That's yeah. I mean, if, if if smooth has a con, uh, smooth, you have a console that it has backwards compatibility. Yes. Yes. Okay. When Ty the Tasmanian Tiger one and two, whatever the fuck came back on PlayStation, I, I played them. I, if if I didn't, if they if it was backwards compatibility, I have the PS2 disc in my parents' house. So I'm like, oh, an old game I used to love. I play it. Type shit. It wasn't anything else to play. The same reason why Destroy All Humans won. I've played it a million times. They made it again. I'm going to play it again. So people have different modes where they want to revisit but the, but classic that's, the that, ones that, that further proves my point. Any game I would... Re- In theory, I would not need to emulate any game because any game I'd want to emulate, I already own. I'm not a broke <laughs> bitch that wants to complain <laughs> 10 years later I can't play something. That's my point. If I wanted to play it 10 years ago... I would have. Why would like look? I look. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of Game Boy Advance games and DS games that are amazing that I probably haven't played. But I'm not sitting in my chair like you know what I want to play. I want to play a game from 20, 2022 that I've never played in my life before. That I've never heard of. Like if I was really interested in the game, I would have already played it. I, I don't think it, that's it, fair. That's I mean, completely I, I do, fair because that's I the that. justification they use to steal all Nintendo's games. Nintendo literally remakes their games every other or ports their games every other generation. And yet we're hearing people say, I'm stealing it because I never got a chance to play. How you ain't ever get a chance to play a Nintendo game? Well, no, that's a bullshit excuse. They're justifying stealing for other like other reasons. It's not that they never had access to it. Like Nintendo offers services to where they can like they've had virtual console. They've had like um, Nintendo Switch online to where you can access these things. They just refuse to like play them in that manner. But, like, not everybody is going to have full knowledge of everything that releases for, like, the PS2, the GameCube, the Dreamcast, and all these other consoles. Like, these things just come in time. Like, like even people that just started playing Persona games with Shin Megami, uh, with uh, Persona 5 in 2017, probably didn't even know that was a series and a a spinoff series until that game came out. So maybe they want to go back and experience those older titles. You know what's funny, Blandrew? I don't believe that shit. Because all born in 3D gamers had the internet. You know what I had for all this shit? The fucking bus ride in the morning, lunch, and the bus ride home. I'm not trying to hear that bullshit. Yeah, That's but okay, how you let's. Knew the game was fire or not? Okay, but it, for my example, like a excuse me, for my situation, I, I only had like Walmart, Target, and Best Buy growing up. As far as like my electronics and game stores, and they typically didn't carry games like that back in the day. It was just the more you know, uh, marketable type of games, the GTAs and stuff like that. A lot of the more obscure niche games, you weren't finding those on. Where do you live at? Like, just stay. Don't get, gotta give me Arizona. I mean, y'all, y'all didn't have game stops out there, or hey, I was well. One, I was at the mercy of my parents wherever they would take me. I could hopefully go there into like a game aisle, and two, no. Oh. Like, well, Blanche, you're a different case. When you start smashing GameCube controllers into your forehead, they probably didn't want you gaming at all. No, but like even then, like I can't just drive anywhere I want to and pick up a copy of. Neither could we as kids, but you had hey. the luxury of Amazon. No, I didn't. Well, no, you okay, didn't. Bland- really? Hey, Blandrew, especially on top of that. We're on YouTube nowadays. You know, and Jack could probably attest to this as well, uh, my beautiful banana pudding. Remember when I sent you that YouTube channel? You probably don't remember. It was like a, it was called Rare Gems, and they had a ton of archived shows that had been their pilot episodes. Yeah, Do you remember I, I sent you that? I subscribed to it. You subscribed to it. Yeah. We're, in a, we're in a place now with creation. There are niggas that make every day uh, top 15, 25 hidden obscure games that you've never heard of on PS2 or PS3, whatever the fuck. There's always going to be content of people saying uncovering things that I did not know that existed. Let me go I try think, that out or whatever. I think fuck. y'all have a two different conversations. Bond, I understand what Bond is saying. Bond is pretty much talking about like PC gamers that use game preservation as a crutch to steal shit. 
and y'all are talking about people that's actually <laughs> trying to preserve game and like i think that exactly it's just, it's just two different oh, subsets okay. of people so, like it's people that l- literally do like do game preservation but there's another subset they use game preservation as a as a conduit to just steal shit and so, not only that alex this other section that jack is talking about they're the super ultra, super saying God tier, ultra instinct, ultra ego gamers. They're supposed to know everything, remember? There's nothing <laughs> they don't miss. They play every little niche PC jack off hentai game ever. Do they do they wear navy green t-shirts as well? I don't know. I don't care what they oh. wear. <laughs> yeah, I, I just think I just think it's funny that these are the all knowledgeable, omnipotent, overseeing seers of gaming, and yet. When you ask them, do they ever own said game? Oh, I never owned it. I never played it. What the fuck expertise you have even talking about the topic? Yeah, it's I mean, confusing. look, I, I don't believe most people um, with that reasoning. Like, oh, I, I was going to play this game. Oh, nine, 19 years later. Oh, I was going to get to it next week. Oh, man. Yeah, why did exactly. they do that? Like, no, the fuck you weren't. Um, listen, I, I understand. Like, there's some cases that are excusable. I, I, I get it. Like, I never got to play Dante's Inferno, and it's not nowhere now. Um, it's not on PC. It's not nowhere. You, you pretty much can't, can't play it. But that's very rare. There's no other game like, that I can think of that I never got to play that I actually wish was, you know, was a, available to, to buy now. Like, if you were born, if you were younger and you didn't get to play certain games that came out before your time, that's an excuse. But then I'm still kind of blaming you then, because why the fuck were you born so late? Be born in, in the right generation, motherfucker. But you that know, also... Man, you were born that in that also, generation with an iron, and you don't use it, BG, so stop that shit. You're not about to age yourself. <laughs> but that also, like, gives, like, a, is part of the reason that we're having this whole remaster remake era going on right now. Because a lot of people didn't play these games, so now we're trying to kind of play catch up with them instead of just making new games. Yeah. Hey, man. It is what it is. Uh, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. We can move on. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Special Nick from Xbox Era Podcast, who usually be right about shit. Uh, don't know who his source is, but he had a, got a pretty good track record. Hold up real quick to answer Blandry's question. Blandry, the only di- problem with what you said, though, is they were making PS4 on PS5 and PS3 on PS4. It's not like they're ma- remaking PS1, PS2. They're doing some PS2 like, you can, the, A lot of these games aren't even remakes. They're just upgraded ports. I agree. I mean, I'm not like we just had what Persona Three. We're getting MGS Three, Silent Hill. Like it's just, yeah, mm-hmm. I know. One of ones with just upgraded graphics, even though the original games look fine. Like Demon Souls, right, BJ? Hey, uh, you will not bait me into a Demon Souls conversation, sir. But um, I think Jack said his camera froze. But I was, as as I was saying, Special Nick. Some people questioned his record. Listen, everything that I've seen from him is is has come true, damn near. Almost everything. Uh, he, said, he said that he has some type of source or report that they're considering, that there's the consideration of putting Helldivers 2 on, uh, on Xbox. Nothing, Not is in, nothing is in the works right now, but he said it's, it's being contemplated and, and discussed over there at, uh, I guess, Sony to put it on Xbox, which, listen, I don't put anything past anything nowadays. Um, plausible possible you know it's it the game is still very popular it's, it's going on well like three months now uh, of course the the numbers have begun to go down but that's normal like you know some people think that just because something is games as a service it's all, always going to stay at the height of its uh it's always going to stay at the height of its uh you know numbers but it goes up and down that's that's the life of game games as a service but putting it on xbox could inject of course more players poison and, into the yeah. system like the nwo hey man um smooth how would I mean, you feel about that even though you don't like i the mean game? I, yeah i don't really care for the game but um i think it of course my dog barks okay uh, so um no i think it would be um a good thing for them to do it's a multiplayer game um i feel like hold on man what kind of dog do you have? I always assume kids move just like an ankle biter. I'm surprised he even uh, has a dog. Yeah, um, most black people don't have dogs unless they're dumb and have pits. What? The, I think the, ga- <laughs> the, the game should be just like how Foam Stars, even though how trash that is, should be everywhere. Don't know why you make a 
games as a service game exclusive to one platform it doesn't make sense but i think with the popularity of the game you can only it doesn't hurt them to add another platform to it another 100 200 000 players uh there are microtransactions within that game so that's another one uh, 200 000, uh people who would be willing to play the game and to buy uh microtransactions um it's good for the game they got it uh the playstation's already made its money um, from that game is done well but games like that survive when their player count so it, it shouldn't be an issue why uh they would wouldn't put it uh on xbox and and it's not like it's a first party like title it is what it is y'all just got sea of thieves and grounded why not give away hell divers uh you know it it is what it is to be a good it's role model that, um yeah. i am in total disagreement. i am in total disagreement with what you just said um the gaming community is, uh, I don't know how to, uh, coagulating. I don't know what to say. It's, it's uh, homogenized. It's, it's, everything is becoming the same, bro. What Every, is the point everything of... Everything belongs everywhere type shit? Yep. What is the point of gaming if I could, if I, uh, if I own an Xbox, I could play Sea of Thieves, Grounded, Hell, Hell Divers 2, Hell Blade, and then I can go to PlayStation and play the exact same thing. Then I can go to PC where the games run better and play the exact same thing. What's the point of PlayStation right Xbox? I'm already telling you right now, Jack. Like this is the last PlayStation. Like the uh, Xbox One was the last Xbox. PS5 might be my last PlayStation. I don't see why it wouldn't be at this point. Like, like I said, I think Porter Wright did a video similar to this, bro. They're going out of their way to actively make people not want to buy their they consoles, bro. If if everything's the same, but one is clearly better with the yeah. technology, why wouldn't you just go there? <laughs> like, what the well, hell? Like, like, perfect example. Um, Final Fantasy 16 is about to come to PC. We know, uh, you know, FF7 re uh, Rebirth will come to PC soon. Hypothetically, if Sony were to come out and say, here's the PS6, all of our multiplayer games come out day one on the PC, all of our single player games come out a year later on PC, no PS6. Done. They gonna lose a lot of customers like that. I know a lot of people think they won't, bro. People, people getting into PC gaming every day, bro. Like, yep, I don't. Be, I will be yeah. a PC gamer that plays my Nintendo games on the side. I mean, pretty fuck, much. that's pretty much what I am right now. God damn. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't fault you for that. They not make. They might not. They're take. They're taking away value from their consoles, bro. Every day, they taking away more and more value from the console, bro. Yeah, I think they. I think they can weigh the. Um, you know the benefit and the cons and, and the benefits for it. Um, I'm sure they can look at, okay, what do we gain from putting on, on Xbox? What would be the increase in the player base, the financial gain? Um, because as we know, X, you know, Xbox isn't necessarily, necessarily the platform where you feel like you can extract the most out of if you put a game there. No shot to it, right? It's, it's actually the Nintendo platform where if you're PlayStation, you would get more out of, and, and I'm not talking about exactly how it would run on, on, on Switch, but you would gain more from putting a Helldivers on a Switch platform over a, yep. o over a place that, over an Xbox platform. So honestly, because I, I, still, I still believe that PlayStation see Xbox as the ops, right? I don't know how Xbox sees it. But if you, if you are just focused, and that's how it seems to me, to me on just making sure like you crush or always stay ahead of Xbox. I don't really necessarily see a reason why you don't, you, why you can't necessarily collaborate a little bit more uh, with Nintendo and their platform uh, when it comes to certain, certain things, not everything, but if it, if partnering with this, this one helps you, you know, beat your opponent a little bit more. I, I don't see any problem with that you yeah know? they're supposed to be releasing gravity rush and a movie coming out just go ahead and put that on the switch yeah there's, you know there's, hey, there's, there's like yeah there's certain games we know fucking would kill on the switch so yeah yeah do y'all feel like it's necessary for online gaming to be sustainable for any game uh the cross play do y'all think like that just you just have to in order to third part you? third party game so third party yeah uh, shit like that they, they eat them ea like plants vs zombies that game should have had cross play mad shit like that but first party games bro even though sony don't own arrowhead studios they own hell divers 2 ip like they shouldn't that shit should be on playstation and pc where is that right now i don't i don't see why they should expand i really don't i mean but the fact that it's on pc now it's 
I mean, if like you it, if they willing to put it on Xbox, there's no reason for them not to go full third party, in my opinion. Like at that point, like why are you saving anything, bro? Like you just you're a fucking third party developer at that point. I mean, they already already are, but goddamn, bro, like you like full third party at that point. Like you might well bring everything over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> but I don't view Hell Divers Two as like this PlayStation marquee branded game. I think that I think I think, like I think it, like is it is now. It is now. It is now. But oh, where did it get, oh, get the popularity no. from, though? It's the top yeah, rated. It's the top rated PC game, Jack. And that's what I'm saying. I, I think PC gamer is the ones carrying it. With this latest release, the the second game, I think it's it's, it's made its way up there. Now that that name whole weight, that IP whole weight. So if you ever hear of a Hell Divers Three, everybody's checking for that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I feel I feel like I don't have any problem with if, even if it was first party. I don't know, bro. I play a lot of multiplayer games and. I see them come and go. Foam stars, shout out to you. Um, <laughs> it's just so easy for that multiplayer base to dwindle down, especially with multiplayer being so centered around the season pass. No, you, once you, niggas, that's, that's once niggas that's finish true. a battle pass, it's done with. Like if they don't have a if they don't have a sense of I'm earning anything, they don't. We don't have the traditional, you know, skins, clan emblems, all that camo shit like that. Niggas like if I have completed the pass, I holler at y'all in two months when it come back. You know so what I say I to like, that though, Alex? If you got a game, if you got a games as a service and you're worried about sustaining a player base, you probably shouldn't have made that game. <laughs> if you can't <laughs> sustain a player base, that is, uh, I guess you'll say, user error at that point. You know what I mean? That's like a skill issue. Hmm. It, Hell Divers ain't had that problem. As a matter of fact, you know, it's it's holding strong. It still got over yeah, what four hundred some they thousand got a new war bond every month. Yeah, they know what they're doing yeah. over there. Yeah, I, you know, I give them a lot of credit because I still don't know. Some people say they had this all this, this shit ready beforehand. I don't know if that's true. Um, maybe. I have a question, but, though. Do you think, do you, my bad, just because you, you were just um, commenting, uh, Jack and Bono, on what they're doing with Helldivers, do you think Bungie consulted them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Probably. That's a good question. That is a good know, question. Because they said they started development and it went through a lot of changes since like seven years ago. Um, because you know, it yeah, I think they was making that before Bungie even got into the equation. Yeah. Like, so I don't and, know. And That's a good there, question, though. It is. It it's a game. It it mirrors the first one so much. What would Bungie have came in there and done? Uh, well, just said if it's if it's sticky or not. <laughs> That's all. Hey, yeah, you know, a lot people, of that shit is in the first game already. That's true. Yeah, it's just yeah. literally a camera change and fucking updated movement graphics. Like, and, I, and I think the game is a, world. is a testament to people like to downplay how important camera angle is. I don't think this game is 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 nowhere near as popular if they don't make that that switch from what was it was uh top down um like asymmetric is, yeah, is, yeah asymm know. isometric to third person if that change doesn't happen I don't think this game is that popular if, oh hell I, no so it's there listen I know people I like to hate I on it I can't dis I can't disagree with that I but that third person bro I'm sorry that's that is the goat that's the goat angle. That's the goat, bro. I'm sorry. You know, y'all like to it's hate e on it. It's easier not to team kill in this game opposed to the first one. <laughs> yeah. You had to be real careful in that first one. Tell that to you, Rock. Fuck you, Fuck you, Rock. Yeah, so shout out to, you know, shout out to them, man. Because I don't know how a, how a team of like, I, they might be a little bit more of 100 now because they probably did a hiring spree. But I just don't know how they're able to drop so much content more than like studios that have 300, 400, 500 staff. That struggle to release something even twice a year. So shout out to them, man. Good job over there. Um, I want to get back so, to playing. Uh, so question haven't... about Hell Divers: How can I never see these uh, super ultra pro PC gamers on it? Who are you don't speaking wait. of? No, Who are you speaking I don't of specifically. I, I, I haven't seen any of them. Who name names? I've, I've sh who do we who do we know that plays PC games? I don't see any of these people. I see Eric Cuss be playing. She on PC. The, the people that I see gaming on this are like I see like Blaze. I see BG. I've seen. I, I, I've not. I've not seen Kofi. I've are you talking seen, about Alex? That's what you talking about, sir. I'm no. saying, I see wear Black an t on it. I've not seen Shampoo on it. Like I don't see Jim. I've not seen Jimmy on it. I have barely seen Hard Eight on it. Like this game is very popular, but it doesn't seem popular in our community. That's interesting. I don't know. No, no. For like, yo, remember Tony said it would be dead in two weeks. He was wrong all, about that. He was wrong. And, about that. and all the big foamies and the what, what they call them? Foam with stars. The foam, yeah, I'm with the foam sluts. Yeah, the foam sluts. yeah. They thought that uh, hell divers were gonna drop off and foam stars were gonna take off. Whoa, nah. whoa, whoa! We never did. Never said that. We said it's gonna last more than a month, which it did. 
it no, took. It a, I think it took. How's it, it, it having it a season a month, bro? That's crazy. They on the third it, season it already, like, bro. Yeah. Nigga, when nobody's playing your game, nigga, you could say you drop a season every week. Nobody would know because nobody's playing it. Yeah, <laughs> Who's gonna... like third season. What the fuck? Jack, it, I'm not going to lie. If you, if you lie at the podium and nobody's there, who going to check you? Who going to check mean, me, nigga? True. Nobody that's watching. True. Nobody listening. I'm not gonna, I, I just assumed it to be true. I mean, shit, I, could, I couldn't verify. On, so shit. Who verifying they shit? Shout out, shout out to my niggas that, that tried to hop in the sets with me. I'm talking to you, Kiso. I know we got beef and shit with the home base, but Hardhead, uh, Benji, I think Fang put his little ass in the bubbles. So why is, your, why is the aspect ratio on your camera not all the way? Oh, it fucked up? No, I'm using my big boy. Nick, Nick, it's not, it's not, you got bars on the side. You got black oh, bars. I'm, 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 the order, I'm the order 1886? Yeah. Oh, with your bum ass. Um, is he widescreen bitch? The, the, the Fallout TV show, you know, boosted the um the game's player player base like fallout 4 a lot more people have been playing it now so that's that's good a lot of these tv shows are good cross pollination and cross marketing giving new life to some of these old games so it's good it's been it, every game every yeah i think every why show did, or why movie did we not do a watch along i told you we should on watch along and now the show's good and y'all missed out uh, oh. You don't like watching shows unless they're associated with PlayStation. That's not. That's another narrative. Y'all got to stop this. We didn't do it with Twisted Metal. We didn't do it with anything else besides Last of Us. Stop this narrative. I mean, that's, right. that's a good thing to do with the, the Discord, I guess. Why not? Listen, y'all, listen, y'all could... I don't know when I'm going to even get to watch it and fall out. Listen, I'm, anyway, what I was going to say is like it seems to help every game. Every one of these shows and movies seems to help uh, the game, except for... I don't know if Halo got a boost. When when the Halo TV show came out, I don't Did know if that move? helped at all. No, nah, not but, at all. Damn. Man. Yeah. What about season two? Season two came out, didn't? Yeah, I mean, but again, it's <clears throat> people like the show, right? I, I don't know what <clears throat> what the uh, the issue is, but people like the show. It's just that that I don't think the Halo fans um like it. So I don't know if that's a uh, part of the reason why it's not like yeah, it's translating uh, translating well, but. Hold on, the complete season two already came out. Yeah, damn. Hold on, no, no, no. All right, because I, I haven't started season two yet. Because they don't, they don't do the binge mode. I think they release weekly. I must say, I've heard Bond complain about it. it must have been okay. <laughs> season two. Yeah, or Halo. I mean, they killed the black guy. I knew that was fucking happening. Um, killed the Arbiter, and like it, it was ah, trash. I'm, no, never, <laughs> nah, nigga. <laughs> Wow. Why would you, you do that, Bond? Why would you do that, Bond? <laughs> this shit's already over. You should have watched it. What, when did it come out? When did season two come out? It's just been over for like three months now. No. Uh, it came out in like February, bro. Damn, Bond. It came out in the heart. So <laughs> came out in the heart of social reject season. Yeah, no. uh, give funny. give Bond that same smoke y'all be giving me. What, what streaming service is Halo on? Paramount Plus, Pe- right? Yeah, Paramount uh, Plus. Ain't it Peacock? No, no. It ain't, on, it ain't on the cock. <laughs> no. No, what, the la- what, what was the last episode? Let's see. That's funny. You wrong, Bond. This is bad try to... Wrong. <laughs> you wrong He could have watched that. The last episode fucking came out, like, in March. Last yeah. month. Nigga, you, you can't... It's been over. You can't, even, on, you can't even say Aerith died 20-something years ago, so you definitely can't say that shit, what you just said. Shit's, shit was a trash show anyway. You ain't missing much. If it was what? good, then yeah, but like, it was dumb. Mm. I mean, first of all, why the UNSC has a majority of their soldiers as women is crazy enough to be. Uh-oh. Like, did they really, like, like are, did all the men just die, or did they really think they were going to fight a bunch of elites with some little girls? They're getting all smacked up and plasma pistol whipped and like shit. Whole show was a goddamn hate crime. Damn. Ooh wee. Uh okay. Shout out to the to all the TV shows out there doing it right. Um, Take Two laid off five percent of its workforce and canceled some projects. What a horrible oh. year for gaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, Ooh, prayers to all those lost souls out there. <laughs> hope, hope they uh, what is it? Hope they land on their head or whatever the fuck it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Land on your back. Yeah, <laughs> we're praying for you. Land on your ankle, nigga. Roll that shit. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're praying for you, baby. Yeah. Uh, we don't really care. Um, 
Ladder, ladder, rap, ladder. Mafia, a new Mafia game is uh, going to be announced soon, apparently. Um, Let's go, baby. Let's go. Listen, I, all I want them to do is just fix the fucking gameplay, bro. I have not been able to beat a Mafia game since Mafia 2. Mafia 3, that, that goddamn gameplay was horrible and repetitive. Uh, Mafia, re, Mafia, was that one Defendative remake? Edition? Definitive Edition. Yeah, that that shit. Even for a remake, that shit still played horrible to me. It play uh, it plays like the original game. It does. Oh my god, yeah. So I, please, the the type of care that y'all because it's published by Take Two. It's still made. Is is Hangar Thirteen? Hangar Thirteen. Yeah, I, I I need them to step it the fuck up, bro. They dealt with some layoffs recently too. I think. Yeah, they like did. I, like last year, the year before, bro. I just want to enjoy a mafia game and not have to go on YouTube and watch the playthrough of it because I can't suffer the gameplay. Yeah. Please, bro. I'm begging y'all. Just make this one. I good. think mafia, mafia, like the one game where the gameplay so janky, but like the story and writing and, and performance yeah. is so good. Like. Mm-hmm. I do you do you you got to deal with a lot of shit to play a mafia game, man. But yep. I played and beat every single one of them, man. Great games, great games. Can't wait for the next one. Yeah. I wonder what time period is going to take place in because usually they do a time skip. You know, the first one was like in the 30s and then they'll go to like the 60s. So I wonder what this one's going to be at. The last one was what? In the, yeah, it was in the 60s when like MLK died. Yeah. What was that, like the 68 or some shit like that? You so, wouldn't like a modern one? A modern one? I wouldn't mind, a, but then they're going to have to be dealing with like John Gotti type motherfuckers and shit like that if they go to like the 90s. I wouldn't mind that personally. Oh, there, there's a what if they made like a Black one? Mafia game like with the um, what's the nigga freeway? That, Rick, well, he went my that game. The game is gonna be that game is gonna be boycotted yeah. heavily if it's but they already did the black main character and people already go back to go back to the mafia announcement, mafia three announcement. Yeah. There yeah. weren't mm-hmm. any black people in the fucking my what is this yeah. shit? I don't yeah. go go ahead and do it again. You're gonna have to call that a different name. You can't call it the mafia. Uh, but there's a lot of like mafia like you know um, games you can make after the, make after the black gangs and and shit like that. Um, but you can't call it mafia. They they gon they gonna, they gonna be very upset. Uh, I, a modern one. I, I, the 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 older time periods, the time pieces have a certain allure to them. Um, what know. jazz music, nigga? I don't think it, I don't think it should be current day. It should be in the eighties or nineties. No, well, it's just that, that it's just that if it's modern now, day, like shit, like cell phones and all this technology, kind of like ruins the whole crime Fuck syndicate thing. Yeah, it, it, it's it's harder to have a crime syndicate. The modern day mafia not exciting, bro. They doing like probably fucking sports betting and shit. Them niggas ain't. Yeah. <laughs> them niggas doing some random like C- crypto shit. scams and shit. Yeah, man. We need some. We need some old school busting niggas heads type. Yeah, shit. Yeah, and, and like you know, burning yeah. burning down uh fucking you know alcohol uh you know spots and yeah, collecting yeah. the insurance money. That's what the type of shit right, I'm trying what, to see. Now, what's the time period y'all sick of playing? Like anytime it's put in that, it's like oh my fucking god. Like for me. The dragons and dungeon shit. Anytime a game is set in that, I'm like oh, yeah, dungeons I'm, and dragons. You mean well, you, you know, said dragons you know, and dungeons? You know dragons never actually existed. I'm now. talking about uh, rice and beans. King, you said so you, you mean like a high fantasy medieval? Is what you're saying? Yeah, I'm talking I, I about hate medieval. Like, yeah, that shit is just boring. It's just cobblestone and fucking big I, ironclad niggas. I partially agree with you. Like oil. I, I love it for TV shows. I've never, I'll never get tired of it with TV shows. But games, it's like. Yeah, I don't know about this. Right? Look, shit, we, look we, we go through this every generation. Before it was the brown, then it was the blue tint, then it was the military shooter, then it was, no, the, first of all, it was the, the World War shooter, then it was the military shooter, then it was the futuristic shooter. Now it's half, it's always going to be something every generation people get tired of. It, it'll switch, don't worry. Okay. Um, so yeah, look forward to uh, getting that announcement from Mafia. We'll see. Uh, let me read some super chats. Sensei J dot year of the beef. Jack versus year. I get <laughs> all. Oh my god. Jack versus year. I grabbed it. Bond versus <laughs> oh no. It's daddy issues. Alex versus dope is J and smooth versus Xbox. Fire, fire. Shout out to you boys. Thank you. Notice sir. who they've been say, BG. Keeping it positive. Man. Me either. I ain't got no beef. Yeah. Hey, man, me and Blandrew. Me and Blandrew staying out of beef. You know? Peace over here. 
Hey, Dope J, we miss you on the Weapon Wheel podcast. Uh, no, we no, we do not. No, we do not. Dope J is LinkedIn. <laughs> Dope J is LinkedIn crash. Nah, out. man, y'all nah. I, I, fought, I fought with Dope J, man. He 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 got no, the sir. he got the right. He got the you, right. You know, we had problems in the past, man. But you know, I, I like to analyze people. He he, nah, he got the that. right. He got the right spirit about him. I, I like his, his moxie. I like. No, hope I like, you're doing I like well, his... dope as Jay. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> no, yeah. you cannot drink Moscato and then come and force niggas to listen to you rant for four days straight, and then when I'm niggas with... try to help you, and then you yell at no nigga, no, you're too come back, fucking come back, brother. Come Alex, sit your ass down uh, somewhere, eat a fucking lunchable, and don't join. Don't come Alex, back. They uh, got too much we... preservatives. Come back, brother. Please Speaking of lunchables, him. did you hear that they have like uh, ingredients in them that can cause cancer? Cancer, yeah, like everything, know, yeah. yeah. You realize Wait, on the news, just, just just band aids. Everything can cause cancer. Exactly. Nowadays. Everything they that like they deemed on them or something. Everything that so, they deemed like healthy for us at one point. Every single thing they so said. Me, you know what? That caused cancer, bro. Let me ask y'all a question. When was the first time y'all heard this term "forever chemicals"? Because I just heard of it a couple of months ago. Like, I, I never heard so of the it. Stuff that you so, preserve everything. So, so forever chemicals. Certain stuff have it in it, but if you ingest it, the reason they call it forever chemicals because it takes like. Over a lifetime to fucking break down in your system, and it's dangerous shit, right? And they so said it's about like chewing like, gum or something. Not chewing. It's like just certain shit, like oh, this air fryer got like certain consumer products that you might <laughs> ingest. Right. Something. Like yeah, no. So like, how y'all just not find out about this shit? And if it's that so n- dangerous, why y'all just not tell hey, us about this? shit? Hey, that nigga wanton in trouble. <laughs> no, nah, he probably yeah, he probably did already. But like, uh, like forever. Because Jack, hey, Jack, because hey, they grabbed his head like this. Oh, true, oh. true. All right. Um, where was I? Oh, uh, Sensei J dot. Oh no, I read his already. That was from last week. Okay, zigzagging. Bond was in the classroom over pronouncing young girls' names. <laughs> oh my God, young black girls' names specifically. Uh, Jazzy Jefferson has Andrew Wilkins DM'd you his PSN yet? BG, I believe he did last week. Uh, I didn't write it down though. Um, damn, Jazzy on his ass. Mr. Titan X, does Jack Har Johnny have a girlfriend? No, I do not. Jack Har Johnny's crazy. Andrew He's Wilkins. For love. Why does Jack move look like one of the motorcycle flying monkeys on the Wiz movie? <laughs> hey, my man just wrapped up in a little yellow, you know, it's, little it's yellow cold. It's cold. It get cold in these haunted houses, bro. I don't know. You got the Yeah, video. Jack, I just, it's 62 <laughs> degrees down there. Are you hot or is it just like you cold? You sick? It, it was cold, bro. The air was on, bro. I was like, turn the fucking air on. You got the air on when it's 62 degrees. I don't know why the air was on, but I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, who you did it? Two degrees is cold. My family did it. They put it on, and I said, "Damn, it's really cold in here." Then my sisters came over. They was like, "Damn, why is it so cold here?" I'm like, "62 degrees know. I didn't is that. absolutely cold." That's that oh, European. That is you. chilly, nigga. That's, that's the that's European in you. No, but most, if, it, if it was hot, I would probably put the air conditioner on 62 to get it cool. And you ain't gonna lie like, to y'all. Like most white people's houses you go to have it between 62 and 65. Yeah, it's yeah, not 60, that cold in here no more. 62 is, is cold for inside, not for outside. No part of the year, my white people's house. It's, it's cold for outside. You don't know, put your thermostat on like 64, 63, get it a little cool in there. Nah. I'm with that. I'm with that. 68, uh, 70, 70. You Ter- bugger, it's hot as fuck when it's like that. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Tarek you Ahmed. got more meat than me. I'm chilling. Tar- Tarek Ahmed. Too, uh, he said, uh, Jack, I'm at the drive thru. I don't got it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Tarek, just for you, I'm going to Photoshop a fucking text uh, JavaScript document and I'm going to get that right to you, brother. <laughs> I'm an expert, apparently. Staying out of that one. Uh, I got you, brother. He said, they're telling me I got to leave. I don't have it yet. <laughs> black, black Metal Gamer, Hellblade 2 out of 10. Send you a sacrifice for sales. Come on, uh, don't hate on, don't hate on Hellblade too, man. Come on, Andrew Wilkins. Black Xbox fans like Kids Move set the entire black race five hundred years back. What Damn. makes what makes you ashamed of being black? Mm. That's wow. a is this, is, 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 this is probably because of Smooth's tweet where he was complaining about them sending another ninety billion overseas. Hey, you gotta wait to smooth get back to react to that one, BG. That was I'll, I'll deep, resend brother. it. Yeah, I'll reread Thank it. You, uh, the young, <laughs> the young John, respect to Jack for always giving, giving to those in need. Yeah, you know, I try my best, man. You know, usually, you know, <laughs> when you do, when you do good by people, bro, they don't, they don't usually, you know, respect it. They throw it back in your face, spit on you. You know how it goes. No yeah. porn oh, shit. Nigga, yeah, it's real. It's real disrespectful, <laughs> brother. J Not J Law. 
J Law is smooth. If Hell Divers was oh smooth's not back yet. I'll I'll read it when it comes back. Luis Barrios. Yo, good seeing uh good seeing back bond to the show. What? <laughs> he said back bond. Oh. I think he All meant right, seeing Bond back to the show, but he put back Bond to the show. That's actually fucking crazy, but thank <laughs> you, brother. Yeah. James Taylor. Reason why all gamers will be every well, why all games will be everywhere is budget costs. Gamers are games are costing too much to keep them exclusive to one platform. Shouldn't make them. Uh relax Paul Gaming. Shout out to Paul. The whole season two of the whole season two of Halo is out and it's trash. Let's watch Fallout exactly. and After Dark. Well, thank you for the super chats, everybody. Send some more and we'll read them out. BD, I know we talked about this like a, a few months back, but like you know, like the um, development length for video games and stuff like that. Do you think it's worth it in the end with all these development costs and the like how long it takes to make these games, or would you just rather have things dialed back to where? <laughs> What what we like, used to have in generations prior and get games at a faster output. I think, like, like I said, I, I think what is to blame is open world games. The de facto genre is everything is open world. Like, that's, I think, the biggest mistake and where the, the cost, the, that's where the budget and the time goes. Go back to making some, you know, wide linear games. That, that, that's what it is. And, and make them 20 to 25 hours. I know there's some. That's still a long time, though, BG. Yeah, 20, 25 hours. I don't, yeah, I don't think so. I, in in today's time, I don't think that's like. I don't think that's bad. I like, remember I it used to be like eight to twelve hours was the yeah sure like the minimum. Not for an open world game. Though. You, no, yeah, not open world. I'm just saying, like in general, like a you, game. You ask a lot of these new gaming weirdos. They they'll tell you twenty to twenty five hours is too short for a game, and they don't fucking know nothing. They're idiots. They're new, they're new motherfuckers. They're who just, idiots. They're idiots. Like, they're, they're dudes who played... Because I don't understand people who have that stance who be like, I'm not, you know, a game can't be worth 60 or $70 and be 20 to 20, 25 hours. That's, that's not long enough. When I don't know how you equate the length uh, of the game to the price. And also, bro, if you were actually gaming as long as you claim, because they'd be from people who've been like, oh, I've, I've been gaming since I was, uh, you know, since 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 91 and shit like that. Well, you realize like the, the average length of games during that time were like, what, five fucking hours, three, three hours. And they cost like 60 plus. You, you could literally buy a game on on, on the on the NES for like 60 plus dollars. And that shit, you would beat that shit in three hours, bro. So and. We didn't think about it like that then. Like we didn't think like, oh, this game isn't worth it because you know it was it was fucking three hours long. No, like so I don't know. Yeah, where they that just made them harder games to mask the length of the game. Yeah, so I think those people who think like that or the minor are the minority though. So ignore them, stupid ass motherfuckers, and just make. Well, it it wasn't just a harder thing. Games were made differently back then. A lot of games were made to also generate money via quarters. Yeah. I don't think even he's going that far back. I think he's talking about like the collectathons and shit. Yeah, like Crash Bandicoot and Oh my god, yeah. like yeah, that's one thing I can't stand is like for, first of all, I blame y'all for this. You knickknack, <laughs> paddywhack, find the trophy, bone motherfuckers. <laughs> Play the game, beat him. Oh, I got the platinum. Oh, I I I got fifty pigeons and the Riddler trophies and uh Odin's Ravens, like it's your, it's your fault that we but get these you... artificially extended games because they know y'all like to go on your fucking nature hunts. I mean, look at games like Death Stranding. They know a lot of you gamers like nature hunts. I'm going to I'm gonna act like a white man with dreads and say I'm going to give you pushback on that. Can you really blame hindsight as 2020, but can you really blame developers trying to find more ways to have engaging content or maybe just have you come back to the game in some form or fashion? I think that's just part of growing. No, the game. concept of trophies is fine. What y'all did with them is not. What, by mm. obtaining them? <laughs> well, well, we didn't like, make the trophies, well, like, nigga. Yeah, like, like, well, like, before, it was like, for, first of all, even Jack will tell you, there's no skill getting in trophies nowadays. Before, it would be like, yo, I beat the game with the hardest level. Like, that, that'd be something you could brag about. Now, from what I've heard, there's not even a difficulty trophy in PlayStation games anymore. 
So essentially, yeah. you're, you're essentially you're not doing any. Like I remember there were uh, achievements in Halo, like get like a double kill with a Spartan laser and like all kinds of wild shit. But now like getting trophies isn't anything skillful. It's a literally just wasting time to get it. It's about time. You can't. Well, this is the thing. You can't sell. You can't sell somebody an adaptive controller and then say also be on the hardest difficulty known to mankind. Well, an adaptive controller is for the kids' smooths of the world, not for regular people. That's Nigga, an exception if I give, to the rule. If, if I give you a wheel with 14 buttons on it and a big ass joystick for you to suck on in the middle, I can't then say go get the platinum by the end. Like, it no, has to be a, it, no, no, no. There was there was always, there, there's always been handicapped people in the world. Like, like, you can't just change the rules because what fucking wants to change the rules. You, you, you know who else wanted to change the rules for everybody based on a small subset of people, Alex? You know who tried to do that? White women? No, they're the majority. The opposite, the irregulars. Oh, man. <laughs> Black women? Oh, <laughs> I thought he was No, to no, no. Like, 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 I'm sorry, but like, this goes back to the same argument we have every time a Souls game comes out. Should there be an easy mode? The answer is no. So why should they compromise having difficulty trophies because little Jimmy got into a car accident? No, I agree. I'm just I'm just giving my opinion on why I think it's like you can't have a whole hey, we're we're for all gamers to be able to enjoy our games and then I so I can see why they would push for it. But you, know, you don't need stuff. to get trophies to enjoy games. That's a fact, but you and also the fact have a that you're of- dumbing them down for little Jimmy in a car accident just devalues trophies as a whole. Because if a cripple with one arm and two fingers can get it, then what's the point of getting it? Because anybody can get it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, I ain't got no comment on that one. That's crazy. But like, if she lets everybody hit, how are you special? Oh, hey, congratulations! Say, you that, C- congratulations! You say still hit. C- Congratulations. You say, Congratulations. You wiped up a chick that 300 dudes hit before. Like, okay. Still hit. Uh, oh. sh- shout smooth, out to smooth the, two questions. Shout out to the handicap and disability community. We, we fuck with y'all. Um, no, we, we do. I'm not making fun of them, but my whole point is if people, I'm set, my point is trophies were used to be made for challenging, but they're not challenging anymore. And the whole point is he, he, Alex, so they made them less challenging to accommodate people. Okay, that's cool. But at the same time, you change trophies into what James Harrison called Pittsburgh Seattle's linebacker into participation trophies. Well, I don't feel like spending an entire... Okay, you're, we're talking about game length. You're literally artificially adding 50% to the game length to get these trivial trophies and achievements. Like, it's for example, th- there's literally this achievement or trophy or whatever the fuck they call them on Steam in Helldivers, Blacktooth is trying to get, right? It's literally blow off the arms of both arms of a Hulk and extract with him while he's still yep. alive. Like, yeah. why the fuck would I ever do that in any scenario? Like, a better trophy would be to one-shot a Hulk in the face with a sniper rifle, something you would actually do in practicality. Why don't I want to rip somebody's I, I arms off and extract? That's hey, stupid. Bon. I, I literally have to go. Work, at, bon. Yeah, I know. I literally have to go out of my way to do something that I would never do in any real gameplay situation. That's um, dumb. Uh, there were some super chats directed towards you, Smooth. J Law said, "Smooth, if Helldivers was the other way around, you wouldn't want it on PlayStation. Stop it." Mm. Correct. <laughs> but we live in a new reality, so. You know what I mean? If if that was a, a, something that was a discussion in 2024, then um, my opinion wouldn't change. But if, if this was like, you know, last year, 2022 or whatnot, then of course I wouldn't want it to happen. But I'm already living in a reality of games already going to PlayStation. So your point is null and void. It's like being like, just like, you know, a couple years ago uh, when you guys are the the idea of PlayStation games going into, you know, PC you know what I mean? You wouldn't want that anyway. But now you guys have come to accept it because it just happens. I said y'all would do that too. Uh, Andrew Wilkins then said to you, black, sex, black Xbox fans like Kids Smooth set the entire black race back 500 years. Damn. How, how is that possible? No idea, bro. What equation to use for that? Mm. Yeah, He's how did probably, he arrive at that? No, nah, Wilkins is probably a Biden supporter. Saying some mm. shit like that. <laughs> it has to be. 
Because oh, Biden supporters and uh, black Democrats don't stop uh, and don't recognize. <laughs> they, well, he's supposed to know. You, you know, I did. That's I, did, I want to know. I, I, I fixed smooth, your mic. Smooth about to go, Michael Vick. I, I fixed your mic pretty well, Smooth, that it, like most of the barks do get muffled out. We still hear it, but it's muffled out. It ain't okay. That bad. All right. I'm not. So, no. So people like Andrew Wilkins is people like, you know how when they they, they so gun happy on, um you know, blacks for like uh, Trump are setting black people back, but they won't realize that they've been a Democrat all these years. They've voted for all the, the, the pretty much the shit that they're going through now and don't recognize that it's bad for them. That's the type of person like he is. So I, I can't say when people say stupid shit like that and then like slowly poisoning them, them themselves over the years. And then the minute someone steps out of line or out of Master's house, they got a problem. <laughs> like, mm, massive. Not Massa. Okay. Well, what the hell are you uh, talking about, bro? bro <laughs> any, any, anybody, anybody who uses <laughs> Trump or Biden to define blackness should be should be dropped in the ocean. Because I know you niggas can't <laughs> swim anyway. All right. All right. Okay. Man, what is going on, man? Yeah. All right. Let me finish the chat. No, but Warm for real, like your blackness isn't defined by who you vote on. Let's be real. War Machine Guy. Last week podcast, I'm glad that Dead Space and Final Fantasy VII didn't do good in sales because gamers are now, now starting to realize that paying $70 is bull crap. Well, no, I don't, we no, don't know. Final, if, Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII not selling well is going to cause them to not make games like Final Fantasy VII. So we'll get games like Final Fantasy XVI. And I'm still waiting for confirmation from both EA and um, just, I just want numbers for these things, you know, but that's the rumor out there. Uh, Detour Dad, Boy. Wake the fuck up. Detour I'm Boy. Old, Detour board. Do what one. I do, Jack. Look, look Jack. Get yourself, you sal- get yourself a Celsius and wake up. <sighs> you got any more of them sunny D Celsius over there? Good oh brother. my oh, god. god man. We don't drink myself? them shit. OG D. Bond selling it though. Detour board what one. What flavor Celsius are you drinking, Bond? What's up? Stepping on your what shit, flavor Detour. Celsius are you drinking? It's Just orange. We're not sponsored, man. We can't, we can't talk about it. We ain't sponsored. Yeah, like, what are y'all doing? Come on, y'all just... Celsius, tap in. Celsius, tap in. What is... yeah, BG, yeah. we're also not sponsored by Bacon Necks. <laughs> <laughs> Sir? Uh, Did you deep... get it? <laughs> I'm, I'm just reading oh, Super Oh, what you chats. got going on over here, BG? <laughs> you talking I'm, about the neckline on your shirt, BG. Yeah, I know he's talking about that. <laughs> nigga... <laughs> That shit looking uh, uh, crazy. Nigga, nigga, do you have do you know what I've been through in the last week, nigga? I ain't worried about this shirt. Nigga, I don't even who'd got a haircut get, right now. Who'd you, who'd you get a what fight you with Hot Master Flex? Nigga, I've been busy. Like my shirt line is like nigga, the Jack, least of my priorities. Your Jack shirt line looks for the like Zeph- day your shirt day. line look like Zephyrix's hairline. R- respectfully, I think Jack is in the capacity right now to to have a you know, worry about his shirt line. And no, have I don't it be first about no this shirt costs about what ten dollars, nigga. I, I threw this on you, this you morning and pack up by yourself. Why? Well, these came is... in. I think these came in a three pack, man. I get some more. Oh, man. nigga, you spent a good eighteen dollars on that. That wasn't ten. Yeah, these were Jack my... Penny too. I might need to go and get Ooh, up. Bro. My, my overall bar. point is, why do you even have a shirt like that? Throw that shit out, Bond. I'm in the house. That's like an undershirt, though, like a casual. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> like, in the house. No, throw that shit out. I'm in the house, sir. I don't. I don't wear good shit in the house. Like this is. The, I think this is what shirts Why? are meant you're, for. Dog, you're throw, married, throw, man. Throw, throw you're married, on, man. Throw Bond, on, Bond, I'm sexy in the face. Like, what do you mean? Like, put your I'm face in the, the house. camera, <laughs> I'm in the crib. Listen, I don't know about you niggas who be who be like throwing on y'all flyest shit when you in the house. I throw on my bummiest shit when I'm. I in mean, the house. I'm just wearing some casual, like, I'm not wearing anything up, crazy, bro. but my my. What? What the bottoms? What's the bottom like, Bon? It's just a Nike shirt. It's some Nike shorts. Proof. Like I, I literally bon, have you on jeans some... in the house or no? I just said some <laughs> Nike shorts. I thought you said Nike shirt. I don't have on any pants right now. Well, this is a Nike shirt, boy, I, Andrew. Nike I have on what? I have on fucking washed out Star Wars pajamas my, right now, my nigga. Like <laughs> well, my on. point is, nigga, throw them out and get some no, new shit. No, <laughs> never. No. All right. So, you, so uh, when you get married, you lose your drip? Does that come with it? No. I've never cared about my drip inside the house. 
I care about how I look outside. Yeah. The you house. already got a wife, man. What do you need drip for? You listen. I'm, I'm be real. I've always been a bum out bum inside the house. Like I've always. This dressed is like true. That nigga never used to make his bed. He is right yeah. about that. <laughs> when I step out the house, that's when I care about how I look. I don't give a fuck about it in here. Uh, BG is consistent. Uh, we'll get, I'll give him that. Yeah. Uh, Detour board. Tell Alex Monkey Man Two about to do numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Detour. <laughs> Tony, hey, Bob, Tony, you seen that movie Monkey Man, Bob? No, but I just had an idea. I think for now on, on bets, instead of just like money, like you should have to chug like a Sunny D seltzer. Ew. I need Bond to see Monkey Man. I want to hear your opinions on some of the scenes in that movie. Um, Tony Esquire, upon Jack Moves' latest display of killer instinct, the Memphis Grizzlies should consider offering my guy an NBA contract. Uh, laughing emoji. Shout out to BG for the silent W. I don't know what you're talking about, brother. I'm yes, sir. Appreciate I'm, that, brother. I'm completely, I'm completely ignorant to what you're talking about. No idea. Uh, salute though. Uh, whatever. What, let's see what else uninteresting we got. Oh, go, so Ghost of Tsushima will be the first PlayStation game to have play uh, a PlayStation overlay. Ghost of Tsushima on, on PC will be the first PlayStation game to have. Oh, aren't they having trophies? Aren't they having digital knickknacks on PC now? Yes, that's what. Yes, PlayStation overlay, friends list, uh, and PC trophy support. The Iki Island uh, DLC will have uh, PS4, PS5, PC crossplay. Um, yeah, all that good shit. Oh, Jack, I'm telling you, man, the this day is, is coming. Sony is becoming like Microsoft. Yeah, they are. Um, and, and I'm telling you, if Nintendo just puts out a moderately powerful console, it's over for Sony and Microsoft. I agree. You heard they got PlayStation's guy on their team now, right, Bon? Who's him? Nintendo. That's not good. No, they got their third party. The, the good guy from, from PlayStation. Second, yeah, second, he was over second party games, yeah. Yeah, he's the one that brought Yeez and Yakuza back to the States. I mean, look, I, I'm just going to take credit right now because oh, I predicted all this would happen. I said as soon as that man is no longer heading Nintendo, Nintendo will be ushered into a new golden era. And now you have all these people saying, what was this, last week or two weeks ago? It was like the Wii U's anniversary, and people were saying, oh, the Wii U was a... Everybody said the Wii U was a misunderstood console, but it really wasn't that good. And you just have revisionist history. I demand apologies from everybody, especially you, Andrew. Wait, what? <laughs> you y'all saw those videos and articles like a couple weeks ago about the Wii U's anniversary? And how everybody was sucking it off and people were saying, Oh, it really wasn't that good. Even player essence said, Oh, it really wasn't that good. Everybody's no, were... just sucking it off. It's revisionist history. The people are just saying it wasn't that good because you, you know, BG, what do they what, what do you call those people that like like things that are like unique and not popular? What are those people called? Uh hipsters? You had a word for them. Unique but whatever, people were yeah. praising the people were calling out the Wii U, saying it wasn't that good, blah blah blah. Basically, saying everything I was saying, including player essence. And Blander, I remember him saying, "Oh, the reason why we can't get Nintendo guys and player essence and stuff on the weapon wheel is because of Bond. Because Bond keeps it." Nah, I was telling the truth, nigga. Apologize. No, you insulted mm. them personally. I don't. I don't care about what their gaming opinions are. No, it was gaming opinions because they insulted me personally. I retaliated. Well, I'm not. I'm not saying that didn't happen. But you got people like player essence, Mandy. Yeah. You got- all these people, yeah, that people and, and they all they all disagreed with me for five years, but now they all agree with me. Ain't that crazy? Bond was right again. Sure, Bond. Um, <laughs> so right, yo, it don't matter if it's a day, a week, a month, or a year. I'm fucking right. Um, mm-hmm. so I, I think this is a a good thing. Um, some people actually wanted it to be a separate PC trophy list which it's not. I don't really care about that. I just care is I j- only thing I care about is if I play the PC version, I get the trophy for it on PlayStation. That's what I want. I don't want a separate trophy list. Um some people want that because like it gives them more incentive to like replay and get the trophies again, but that's because some people like to double up. Like, oh, I got the platinum in in, in this game on PS4. I got the platinum in this game on PS5. Like I don't like that type of shit. So this is, it doesn't this even is make sense with me. this game. 
the game plan is requires you to follow the foxes, go to the little rock that give you the extra outfit cosmetic shit. You can't even. I mean, I guess you could come up with something, but you can't even play it like that. Yeah, so they, just call, they ask for dumb shit at this point. Um, um, it's fu- this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. This is going to do um, arguably more damage than them putting on shovelware, dancing tomato, dancing taco. PC gamers are going to hack the trophy list and get automatic platinums. It's going to further devalue trophies. They're going to listen to what I'm telling y'all. They're going to put modified saves on there and they're going to automatically earn the trophies instantly. That's what's going to happen with this PC implementation. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. Go ahead. No, well, no, like that, that, that is, I mean, cause yeah, there's mods on PC. Like if you pretty much hundred percent mods, hold on. people are already doing that. If yeah, I they, load yeah, up they my, do that now. If yeah, I, they, if they I load up my Chinese translated version of Legend of Heroes Trails into Zero or Trails of Azure onto the official Steam version, as soon as I load that game, it'll give me all the trophies. That's what I'm saying. So, but the problem with this is, they're merging PSN with PC. So those trophies are universal. So what you could do is get on PC, hack the trophy list, then sign on to PlayStation. It, it's, it's, see what I'm saying? So let me, let me, let me, let me ask you a question. Trophies, why, why, does it, why does it matter? They're participation trophies. Now, now they are. They're I mean, re- they've always been. They're giving you more and more reason of why they're, they're giving you more and more reason of why that's the case. They're, they're and doing I, this to themselves. And let, me ask, to themselves. let me ask you another question. Why is it that people had a problem with my actual real life trophies, oh, but they defended their fake digital trophies? Mm, I don't know, man. Crazy, I isn't it? I, no, 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 Jack, this is a good question. I was the first <laughs> nigga with trophies in the gaming community. I was the first <laughs> motherfucker with trophies. Yeah, and they didn't true. like that's the trophies. True. They were hating all the trophies. That's true. How does and Bond... then when Sony came out with trophies, then trophies became the hotness. Blandrew, how does Bond find a way to make everything about him? <laughs> and like, Jack, am I Bond telling the truth. I, 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 I can't, I can't I, argue it. I can't I, argue it. I, I had trophies before Sony did. And I didn't show them off or nothing. I just had them in the backdrop, just chilling. Oh, you're bragging about your trophies. Fuck you and your trophies. No, no. Fuck you and your trophies. I hope the PC gamers hack. <laughs> this, this, this this man defending what people were saying about his trophies uh, back in back in the tw- 20, f- f- 2007. Yeah, YouTube no, comment section. Oh my yeah. god. But now that now they want to cry about trophies. Now fuck your trophies. You, you said you fuck gotta, my trophies. Fuck your trophies. You gotta, you gotta let that pain go, Bond. You gotta let that pain go, brother. They they gone. The only the, the only pain them trophies have ever given me is pain in my knees. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Um, but yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm I'm down. I'm down for these trophies, man. Because yeah, like I could play either version, you know, and just get the trophies. Uh, but you you are right because like for Sifu, for example, I got the platinum on PlayStation, and I didn't feel like fucking unlocking all these goddamn moves over again. Uh, so people be having a hundred percent mods for, for, for these games, you know, those are very, I mean, I mean to well, let's be, let's be realistic. Like trophies became irrelevant <laughs> also with hip hop gamer. I think I got a trainer for everything. D- when he uses that shit, I wonder if trophies. Yeah. Still unlock. Why wouldn't they? He I nigga cheating. I don't know if he but, uses it on PlayStation. He probably be. No, he uses it on Steam. Oh, that's oh yeah. Well, so, yeah. so why would it be any different if I played the PC version of a PlayStation game with all of his trophies and unlocked everything that way? Be no different. <laughs> oh, that shit is clown behavior, ask but me. Yeah. They they brought Thanks. up uh, the other conversation I was brought up with the trophies is you know is the uh, you know PlayStation getting their own um, you know PC uh, launcher uh, would that be the next step? I I initially like years ago. I would say yes, but I'm I s I don't think it's a good idea now simply because as I've stated with PC gamers with anything else, they're not using any other fucking browser. They refuse to. Yeah. It does it does not matter. Steam, GOG, uh, whatever the fuck that Activision oh. one is, they uh, were who, who, Steam who, niggas who, who are was loyal. That guy, who was that guy that was talking all that good shit about GOG but Kofi exposed them? Alex. Probably Bob. Oh yeah, that's right. Six games. That's yeah. that's funny. Yeah, but see, like, BG's right. They, e- even the most stalwart PC dick rider does not care about GOG. Let me, let me ask you a and question, sm- BG. And Smooth, why did you give up on your beard, dog? It wasn't growing in right. Oh, you so. see, see, I got this nice beard right here. You know, 
I don't know, BG got a, a larger beard and Alex got a larger, larger beard. It, it's kind of crazy how the windows go in beard order. No beard, <laughs> baby beard, beard, bigger beard, and Alex the largest beard. So that means Wait, Blandrew, we Blandrew, has. Blandrew gotta be bold. Mm. I got no, no but I am beard. clean shaven. See, he clean, clean shaven. It's 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 right in order. What you was about a- asking? Uh, and shout out to Manscaped. What you was asking, Jack? As a PlayStation gamer, well, anybody here that's a PlayStation Five gamer, <clears throat> how do you guys feel? Now, these are facts. You can look them up. All this is proven uh, by stats. There have been more PC game announcements this year for PlayStation first party games and actual PlayStation <laughs> first party game. Now, how do you feel about that? Um, they're adding more features to PC for PlayStation than they're adding to PlayStation for PlayStation. And uh, how we just, I just want to check the temperature. It's a temperature check. How y'all think about well, that? Jack, that's not, Jack, that's not even the worst thing. It's like I said a couple weeks ago. Sony has more TV shows and exclusives. Well, <laughs> how y'all feeling? I don't want to. Well, Jack, wanna check well, Jack, where where me and you disagree with those whole PC stuff is you you see it as both things are happening, which means they're connected. I think both things are happening, and they have one isn't causing the other. Like, no, I that's think not Jack's, that's not Jack's argument. Jack's argument is just like it's crazy. It's not that there's no correlation. It's just like, but I, it's crazy. But I do think he's Jack, basically just the, saying, how do you feel about the current state of PlayStation? Exactly. Oh, no, but that's yeah, but that's on its own. But we're on a PC because no, Jack, I think Jack does think that this investment is in PC has a direct correlation to to it being dry. I don't know what's causing any of this. I'm just saying when you look at it, if you're a primary PlayStation uh only gamer i don't see how you could be champion any of this happy about any of this we're not getting anything <laughs> as, as of right now we're not getting anything you could say the stellar blaze the hell uh, playstation didn't make those games they might have funded they didn't make those fucking games whether we like them or not i mean they, as, and they didn't make these games yeah, like no. the, so, i think as the only person that other than jag that really only plays on playstation um it feels weird that they won't just hold oh, no, shit my shit went black I'd rather them just say it that they, that, you know what it feels like, Jack. Like when they just randomly put shit on there, but it's like they're not telling us the motive that they want. We want to make more money. We don't give a fuck about exclusivity. But then people make us seem crazy when we're just saying we're literally outlining what they're doing. So no, I feel you like you want to know it's like, crazy, Alex. I feel like they're distracted. I feel like they throwing a rock at us and looking at us, wondering why we think they threw the rock. It's like nigga. You're showing us you don't give a fuck about sustaining an, an ecosystem for somebody that only plays on your system. You don't give a fuck. Facts. And you know what's even crazier, Alex? These niggas what's really up? expect us to spend more money on a, on a, on a pro that's this fall. That's what I'm saying. So, they I, won. That's what I'm thinking. They really think want us like. to buy a pro. I mean, I mean, Alex, let's be real. When VR came out, you were super, super excited. I'm the VR guy. I'm the v- Alex, I ain't mm-hmm. heard you talk about VR in two months, Doug. What's going on? What's yeah. happening with VR? I'm playing VR now. I got a new game. No, no, uh, no. I'm just saying, like, the, the, the ecosystem. They're putting it on PC. The, they putting it on the PC. Overall that, health of VR. I, what's going they, on? But that's different. That's different, Bond, because I was one of the proponents that said, you need to put this on PC because VR is already niche. So we, just like I the agree. multiplayer need, just like the multiplayer for third party needs crossplay, VR needs crossplay. But on a sense where it's just regular uh, flat screen games, I don't. To me, it's no, like, bro. I, I'm asking you, what is the health of VR gaming right now on PlayStation? Because oh, you used to be oh. hyped about it, talking to us about yeah. new games every week. I have not heard mm-hmm. you excited or talk about VR in two months. I will say that um, it's slowing down a little bit. At the end of the day, it's man, still yeah, it's slowed down the, a little bit, man. That's it's just, in wait. the. Uh, but this, but I'm gonna, I'm, I understand, I understand how you and Bond feel. But I'm just speaking for the rest of the community that plays VR games. There's a lot of niggas that only play VR games. In year one, they have over 200 games. Whether you like it or not, Damn. the library has over 200 games in year one. So even though I feel like, man, I don't give a fuck about half of these games because, you know, I've already either played them or I understand that as a veteran VR player, this experience isn't going to have the, um, to quote Long Tongue Larry, the wow factor. Um, I can't sit here and look at them and say that they're not putting I'm games on the for any jokes on that one. But back, back to Jack's question, for me, the whole... To me, it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. Like, PlayStation is dry right now. The fact that they're putting an effort into PC has no bearing on that for me. Like, I don't make, I don't make a connection. 
You know what I'm saying? Like if, if PlayStation PlayStation dry being dry is bad. If they weren't doing this whole PC effort, it's still dry. You know what I'm saying? Like one that like one them focusing or having an initiative to add to something else doesn't make the dryness any better or worse for me, regardless of, of what they're doing. Like, it's the same thing with PlayStation Pro. Like, the fact that PlayStation is dry doesn't make the decision to make a P PS5 Pro any better or worse for me. Because I don't think those things have, have any type of connection to one another. I, I feel like if, if in a world where there is no PlayStation, 4, PlayStation 5 Pro, and in a world where there is no like effort to to go to go to pc i think playstation is exactly the same as it is right now i don't think those things change it in another timeline i think it's mm. still gonna be dry all right well let me ask you this do you feel as though there was more of a drive within like publishers like microsoft and sony back when they just used to make strict console exclusives because like when the xbox one was first coming out i felt like they were actually trying to sell the product but then the second they went to pc it just feels like they kind of just halted and the That's same thing point, happened Andrew. the same no. thing happened with playstation like when they just had one dedicated platform to focus on without dabbling in the older into all their yeah. stupid no i, I don't i don't just i don't agree with that because as i keep telling y'all in my in my purview those early years of the ps4 were extremely dry and trash and they were not my focused on pc at all so yeah, but that but the thing is they felt it this time they're not really feeling it because what they do is it's like all right now that it's dry on the console front they still are getting some at least on the PC front by re sending out those rehash games on the PC re-releasing those games uh the remasters or the PC version of those games so on their front they're content because on a and it was like okay well yeah we dry but we still technically pushing out content which is giving uh getting ready and they got and, second party games they got second party yeah. games that make the money off of right now they first party chilling bro on top yeah. of that bland dude go back what you say if you look at microsoft's output they released their most games in 2014 and 2015 yeah. 2016 2016 they started putting games on pc and it's been slow ever since then yeah. <laughs> like matter yeah. of fact if you look at sony when they was putting out their most games when they start going to pc Good question, Blandrew. Yeah. Yeah, to me, Jack, I remember I bought a PS4 day one, and I remember like just looking over at the Xbox. I'm like, man, they got Forza, they got Killer Instinct, they, they got a lot of games that Overdrive then, coming out. I'm they like, yo, I'm games. actually, I'm actually kind of jealous of what the Xbox guys have. And then the second they put their games on PC, it just like everything stopped, and it was just downhill from there. Yeah, I, and the like same I with said, PlayStation. Like to me, I like, think once they hit their stride, it was just game, 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 deal, 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 and then now it's just like, eh, whatever yeah. we'll do. Yeah, like I said, I think that those are two things happening. To, in my in my opinion, two things happening that is just coincidence that have nothing to do with one another. I don't think, like I said, I think the problem is PlayStation is 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 dry right now. Um, it has you know for four years, BG. What what what's been dry for four years? PlayStation. No, we're we're gonna heavily disagree on that. Um, so we're not even going to do that. Like I said, the PS5 what? generation has been, you know, the first three years are better than the PS4. So you're not gonna get me um, to agree with that. I'm gonna um, make a, I'm gonna make a uh, point right now. Blandrew actually is right about this. Definitely not. Been I'm, I'm, no, no, no. Blandrew's gonna be right. I'm bringing it all the way back, and I've been saying this for a while. So it also means I'm right too. And I've been saying a while <laughs> that, no, no, hear me out. You, there's no way you're going to disagree at oh, this point. Oh, God. And I've been saying for the longest time that Sony has been losing Japan and that Nintendo makes a moderately stronger console, that Sony will be nothing but a souped up Xbox. Be Sony is struggling to have a high output of games because they have no Japanese developers anymore. Their entire output of games is based solely around Western developers that take four or five years to make a game. Period. Nintendo does not have that problem. Nintendo has smaller studios that can make Japanese games. They, well, they're mainly a Japanese company, so their output is not as strained as a big budget Sony production. Also, Sony can make a game, or even a Japanese centric game, or even put out Final Fantasy VII. What the hell did Final Fantasy VII sell in Japan? I don't know. Let me look. I saw it. It was not good. Shit sold 24,000 copies in its second week of Japan. That's trash. Sony can no longer be supported in Japan. That's a fact. You know, they might as, 
they might as well be Xbox in Japan. Nobody is buying PlayStation in Japan. Hey, it's bye. irrelevant in Japan. Is and Japan, because is... it's irrelevant in Japan, they don't have any studio. That's because PlayStation is irrelevant in Japan is why they got rid of all their Japanese studios. Those were studios yeah, that would have been making games that would have been filling in the gaps between these three, four, five year Naughty Dog cycles. They don't have that anymore. Um, what I was going to say to Blandrew is like, because he, he brought up the Xbox One and how it dried up right when like the year after they started focusing on PC. That's another instance of just pure coincidence, in my opinion, because they didn't, their production didn't stop because they started like thinking about PC. Their production stopped because the fact that they had no first party studios ca ca caught up with them. So those two things are just co absolute coincidences that just happened. So you don't so, think they were trying to supplement their income like Smooth was just mentioning by put, get, giving the games a new life on PC? Sure, but that's not why they didn't make new games. They didn't have no first party studios. And they and they couldn't make third party deals like like they uh, you know, could before. So it you has know shit I'm seeing. Shit in gaming news is so crazy right now. Going back to some Bond just said, did you do you know that Princess Peace Showtime outsold like uh, Rise of the Ronin, which is a JRPG Japanese developed? Like yep. that was shocking to me. Did you also know that as of right now, the top twenty five PlayStation games currently? I don't think that should be shocking, bro. There I are do. More there, there's no way. Oh. Well, I think it. I think it outsold Dragon's Dogma. Which I, I don't think it's shocking one. I don't think it should be shocking that those it are two JRPGs. Rise BG. Of the Ronin. Those are two JRPGs though. Rise of the Ronin is is that an RPG? Yes. Rise of the yes. Ronin is RPG. I thought it was. Yes. I don't. I didn't. Rise of the Ronin is only. I think to its detriment. I don't agree. It should be on, only on PS5. And and it's it, the it's the Switch the mo, you know this matured console it's a first party game and like how look how much the Switch is sold so I just don't even think if that's, it's not, that's even if that's it's not considered game. a J, even if it's not considered a JRPG it's Japanese developed action game Japanese people don't like Japanese developed action games now like, not all of them in feudal Japan not all of them like what are we talking and, and did you know currently the top twenty five selling PlayStation games there are more Microsoft published games in the top twenty five selling PlayStation games to PlayStation titles. They're saying they saying they're saying Rise of Ronin is not a JRPG. Well, it, no not. matter well, if it's not considered one, it's still a Jap my point, because I know y'all like to play semantics. My point is it's a Japanese developed game, action game set in Japan. And it's not and it's getting outsold by Princess Peace Showtime in Japan. That's kind of crazy it's, to me. It's not shocking to me because Neo didn't sell was never a great seller. So this is Neo Three. So I'm not I, to me. It's not okay. shocking like that it didn't right. sell well. Like ne Neo One and Two didn't sell great. Why would this? It's the same All thing. Right. Well, you said they they were trying to make this one more appealing by making it open and more friendly. I guess right. Yeah, sure. As opposed to Neo. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was gonna. I didn't think that was really gonna work. It's still team. It's still team ninja and it's I thought, essentially I thought, I thought japan show up for these type games maybe i'm wrong i thought no they no bro ne games. neo was never a huge seller i mean the, team ninja has made the even wolong they made the same game three years three times in a row none of them sold and then they made a fourth one so it still didn't sell i just Those, thought this uh, type of game no. appealed to them people that's not okay it's, 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 well, i guess not it is what it so. is at the end of the day then why was people getting so mad about people saying it wasn't selling? Like, why y'all getting upset? If it ain't selling, it ain't a selling. Lot, a lot of them were they... posers who never played Neo 1, 2. You know, they just jumped All on right. the bandwagon because, you know. All right. But, yeah. Um, that, that's, that's, that's how I look at it, man. Like, I, I don't look at the, you know, the extra PC stuff as anything bad. I think PlayStation being dry alone is the problem. I don't think the PC stuff is, is the problem. You know, it's whatever. Hmm. Well, Andrew, uh, anything, any comments what I had to say about Sony in Japan? I mean, there's nothing I haven't been saying for ever at this point now, but I agree. See, it's funny when I say Blanchard don't agree until he say oh, then he's like, yeah, God. I agree. What is with the? I agree. Does, does everything agree. have to be about you, Bon? Look, I'm just saying. When I initially say things, why people got to give me pushback? And then two years later, I'm like, you know what? I agree. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it just be easier to listen to like the black Charles Xavier see in the future and shit and just be like, oh, I agree. But like, th like, think about it. If y'all just listen to me, especially you, Smooth, you wouldn't be down 3,000. Why do you keep throwing that in his face? Well, like, like, I, like, Jack, I'm not out here like trying to spread lies or anything. I'm out here preaching the gospel. 
People Bobby don't White. agree, and then shit happens, and people are like, oh, he just thinks it's all about himself. It's like, I, BG, I think... let's be real. Why did you even choose me to be on Weapon Wheel? Because uh, I know what I'm fucking talking about. You wouldn't yeah, let's, let's actually. Well, I, I, I can't even make that. <laughs> I thought he wanted to. I, 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 I was about to say, you, can, you can't. You can't. I was about to say, you oh. can't say you picked it because I didn't know shit about gaming because you got smooth here. So I, I, I can't make that argument. But still. That's where you came into play. But like for real, like, no, it's not like people come on here every day. Well, they do, but then they regret it. But it's not like people come on here every day and say, you know, that take Bond made a year ago, he was wrong. No, because I wasn't. That's why my handle on Discord is Bond was right again. I, Must I just think, start and end every show with Bond was right again. I think Bond is creating these scenarios, and I think most people uh, agreed uh, with him the first time yeah. he said it. <laughs> Jack, Jack, I'm just a time traveler. You know what? I, I admit it, I'm a time traveler. I just think most people agree with you. Thank you, you Bond. Thank, thank the you, first time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know just if they time travel. Alexa, living room one. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Ooh, look at that. Let me, okay. If you turn his couch on, hold on. Let me see. Mm. Edge oh, that room. Oh, I'm man. just saying, life, like, I wish there was somebody in my life that was telling me correct shit that I could just know. I wouldn't argue against correctness. Nah, I, I just remember, Mom, like, we've always been trying to give you fashion tips for years. I used fashion to always. Tips. I used with to always. Sweat, with that Nike sweat, you're wearing what I'm wearing. You're wearing Nike too. But what that's you talking about? This is a bitch. limited edition Nike fleece. Oh god, here we go. Go, uh, go ahead, Blazer. No, I was just saying. I used to campaign for like a lot of PlayStation's AA titles from Ape Escape, Parappa, Sly Cooper, you know, Wild Arms, and all these things. And I got nothing but pushback for the past three to four years. And then Bond says something last week, and all of a sudden I'm stealing. No, <laughs> I've I've always said that those games would be better on Nintendo. Just like I said that Little Big Planet, I have judgment and everything from Media Molecule would be better on PC. And I even went as far as to say that instead of Sony disbanding those developers, maybe they should have sold them to Nintendo. That's where they went. Oh, yeah, a lot, but not a like, lot of not the, a like lot of the studio, but the talent went. Yes, yeah, so yeah. yeah, they wanted to work on like Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, and stuff like that. So, but yeah, I, I don't want them to go over there to a system. I wish like <laughs> Nintendo actually owned and controlled those IPs. Oh, no. Mm. I don't think they want anything that has to do with PlayStation on their platform. Uh, okay. Let me read some more Super Chats. Um, I don't want to get into some deep political talk. We ain't got time for that. Mr. Titan X. Smooth, what's wrong with Biden? He made the country great and made the gaming industry better. Smooth, if you're going to retort to that, make it quick. <laughs> um... Nah, no, no retort. Just the, the his chat alone shows he's mm. insane. But yeah, okay. that's, congrats. <laughs> yeah. uh, what Cobb, the fuck? Cobb Sanity to the podcast members. Whenever you bet on yourself, you got to say John Tay Porter. What an idiot! That guy's an idiot. Yeah, he is an idiot. Yeah, he was making two million uh, a year just for riding the bench, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna go bet on some shit and make. He, he 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 gave away his whole NBA career for twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. We we yeah. fucking made we made fucking half of that on fucking weapon wheel each. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why are you why are you snitching? That's crazy. He bet his whole NBA career on half a weapon wheel, half a yearly weapon wheel paycheck. I don't know what Bond talking about, y'all. <laughs> after dark, after denied, dark. Denied, denied, denied. 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 Oh man. Uh, Yo, okay. Biden needs to be in a retirement home. And, but <laughs> look, whether you like tr Biden and Trump or hate them, my whole point is this. We have how many hundreds of millions of people in this country, and these are the t only two old niggas we have running? Like, come on, we can do better. Yeah. Uh, relax, Star Paul Scoble. Gaming. BG, just do the podcast shirtless. I would. I don't want to intimidate nobody in here, you know? Uh, would you want to intimidate pregnant people? <laughs> uh hold Damn. on. All right, uh it's off. Um 
Yeah, it's off. Uh, next super chat. Uh, Andrew Andrew Wilkins. Demo and Repubs both partied with Hugh. Oh, with uh, Hugh Hefner, aka Diddy. Uh, Hef, <laughs> aka Diddy Hef Smooth. They're the same goofy. Bro, what? Smooth, you have to defend yourself. I, I don't know. He's, wait, he's wait, saying wait, you wait, have some of. What, he's saying you have some affiliation with Diddy or Hugh Hefner and. Uh, I don't know. Is that true, Smooth? I don't know what he's talking about. I don't get it. I don't understand. You really did you go to a Diddy party, brother? That's a simple question. Yeah. Did you, you. Did, did you party party? Is what he's oh, saying. No, you no, and Carl's no. went. Carl's oh, went wow. crazy in the back room. Nah, they said they just you know, out of shape. That joke's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> what did What did Big Bill say in the video, Jack? You remember? <laughs> See, I got too many. I would I would have reenacted it, but I had children around me, man. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you know that video. You got to get nasty in this motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, sen- sensei oh. J dot. Can y'all stop interrupting each other? Jesus, man. Oh my bad, dog. Like it's part of the, the show. Shut up. Stop interrupting us. <laughs> <laughs> How do you reverse okay, that, that on them? Fun. That was funny. That was funny. How you reverse it? <laughs> uh, what the I- hell? Alcoholic gamer, Malibu, Malibu, uh, plus Limeade, uh, pr- plus Sprite. Enjoy drinks on me. Thank you. Shout out to the gamer, man. Drinks on me. Uh, bless Red. Until Dawn remake. First. Are oh, you test- at this nigga post here? I thought you banned him. From the Discord. I not not from the chat. And I didn't ban Bless Red from and, the. Oh, uh, oh, this is wild. He is a mod here, but you banned him from the Discord. How that work? You know, some, sometimes, PG. sometimes, you know how you got to keep family away from certain things, you know, like, listen, like I keep telling you, bless, touch the, yeah. <laughs> okay, I hear what you're saying. I, hear bless you're saying. Red, I, tell, I told y'all, bless Red is that cousin. You love him, but you got to keep him. You can't invite him to every barbecue. You know, like you got to keep him away from certain demographics, certain crowds. You call him the weird cousin or something? Absolutely. Damn. That's exactly what he is. So, you know, you, by himself, you know, in small crowds, you can bl- bring Bless Red out, but big crowds, no. You, you gotta, gotta segregate them, unfortunately. Love them to death, but you got to. Speaking of Blessed Red, Smooth, I heard that he killed two podcasts, one of which was yours. Mm. Damn. Uh, uh, no, no, he didn't kill Plant Xbox. He, I just moved Plant Xbox to weapon. I had nothing to do with it. It was murdered. Who has killed Xbox? Here's a trivia question for YouTube Who has killed the most podcasts here on YouTube? BG. Oh, man. Uh, he ain't talking about me. Like, BG got a couple podcasts. I, I know a movie I got rid of quite a few this podcasts. Is, this, is, this is a simple question. Which individual has killed the most podcasts here on YouTube? Jack, do you have any idea? W- what do you say? Which no. individual has killed the most podcasts here? Oh, Mocha. The- Mocha, oh, easy. We, we put names on oh, both. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, okay. the, the, the black version of the mask. You did. Oh, Jack, oh, what you said? You said Solar Scalp? What would you say? Scorch <laughs> Solar Scalp? <laughs> she, what, like, what uh, she like a... When, when uh, they say they're making a female silver surfer, like that's the first thing that popped in my head. Like I can see Mocha doing some shit. No, she run the most podcast. Good. She killed AGS respectfully. She she tried to kill Weapon Wheel. We didn't let her. She got mad at us for not killing the pot. Corner store podcast human never human had a chance. Ball. Drew moved back to Africa behind all this shit. He had to pull a fucking. Did he really Chicago. go back to Africa? The nigga was walking around Africa with a fucking gaming headset on doing a video. Hey. I said, I said, what was going oh. on over there to where that nigga? Like, come on, man. He's on yeah. a spiritual journey. Oh, we got some breaking Nintendo news. Oh, yeah, remember she gave you good. a countdown for when your uh when your Discord is gonna blow up. People, she told people, you T minus. She me she was gonna delete my Discord <laughs> off the internet. People <laughs> love troublemaker, man. Right, we, we got some breaking Nintendo news, BG. So um, April twelfth, Discord is taking out Nintendo Switch emulator developers and servers. You guys heard about that, right? No, no, I had no. I watched idea. your video on it. So like uh, Nintendo basically going into like all Discord channels. Wiping out all things about their emulators, banning everybody who is like developing and things like that. Like, if you're involved in like emulation on Discord, like they're getting rid of shit, and yes. people are trying to appeal it. And mm. Discord is saying account dis- dis- disabled, violation of terms of service, community guidelines. You are not allowed to be in Discord 
illegally distributing or telling people so, like an emulation. Nintendo got all that on lock, but it gets even better. Discord ain't dumb because as of yesterday, 420, Discord wants to void your right to sue them in court, but you can opt out of the practice. Now, why do you think Discord would want you to not be able to sue them in court? Three days after Nintendo just went scorched earth on every emulation station on Discord. Mm. So let me ask you a question. Does that mean yep. if you're if you're a member of a Discord that's known to be sharing emulation situations, they're shutting they, you down. They can ban everybody in that server, or is that what yep. they do? Yep. Damn. They can say, they can subpoena with a DMCA claim. Ooh wee. <laughs> so so yeah, when me and Jazz when me and Jazzy were shut, uh, were deleting emulation posts in the Discord today, and people were getting mad at us. I want an apology. Oh yeah, keep that shit out the weapon wheel Discord, yeah. man. They, they shut this shit down. Now, now, this, down. but but th- there's no like factual correlation, but it's too big of a coincidence that intent that Discord all of a sudden wants to void your right to sue them in court. Mm-hmm. Nintendo was probably breathing heavy down their neck, and they said, "We don't want this smoke." And this is exactly oh. why I said Dolphin was never going to stand a chance on Steam. Is it illegal, the emulator, by the letter of the law? No. But nobody wants to fuck with Nintendo. N- n- yo, first of all, The Rock stole my, my line, the final boss, but N- Nintendo, the real final boss. Like, <laughs> like, fuck, yo. If Nintendo sent you a letter, I would be shitting my fucking pants. Yo, why did... I, w- I would rather <laughs> deal with the fucking IRS than Nintendo. Did y'all see somebody... Yeah, uh... Somebody said uh, her head is shaped like a hollow point bullet. I was crying. <laughs> it got the same type of damage output, too. That shit crazy. <laughs> Yo, y- y'all Yo, you wrong. fucked up. <laughs> damage output. <laughs> mocha head, but you just get decapitated. That shit crazy. So, uh, only your chest. Do, y- do y'all Shout think out to Mocha. A- She's a real sweetheart. Do y'all think that's a oh, correlation my. that Discord all of a sudden is trying to void your right to sue them? No, nah, they, they trying to they trying to step in front of it. Like, we ain't had nothing to do with this shit. Like, we exactly. can't even get out of here. Like, yeah, of course. Look, I'll Alex, wait, she, she's always wait. been super kind to me, so I don't have any any negative words to say. She about used her. to be super kind to me too, Blender. Then yeah, you too, Jack. Up, I don't know. Yeah, what happened? Said, she woke Nothing up the happened. Next day and said, "Fuck me." I hey, said, Blender, Blender, what Blender, "So it, do? let's 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 Blender, put it on a brother, record, right? You got a brother, right? I do. If a girl come up and slap <laughs> your brother and he look at you, you'll be like, "She's never done anything to me, bro." You gonna sit there and be like, "You still gonna be cool with her?" Of course. Matter of fact, matter of fact, y'all. Y'all in the DMs with me, y'all down there in every Discord I'm in. What did I ever do to Mocha? <laughs> just wait, there, just to put it on, just to put it on record, just to put it on record. Here's what happened, right? As far as my understanding is, yeah, I've never talked bad about Mocha. Jack has never talked bad about Mocha. N- nothing, right? If I, and and I talk bad about people, so if I talk shit shit about somebody, I'll be the first one to tell you, nigga. I'm talking shit about them. Same thing with Jack. What happened is we made Larry, we allowed Larry to speak his mind in in after dark you know say whatever you want i'm not i'm not i'm not policing a nigga like in after dark we allow anybody to say whatever they want i'm not i'm not policing nobody so if so if he chooses to talk about somebody who he was with say certain things say certain things about them or even if we ask him certain certain questions bro that man is free to speak his mind you am i supposed to be like no larry don't talk about it like no i'm not policing nobody i don't even think he's about bg this is the problem from what I remember, he didn't, he didn't say that neither. Uh, like, what the, let's save this conversation for the after dark. So, so that's what. So for the record, that's what she's mad at all of us for because apparently we we didn't put a muzzle on Larry. Bro, she and, blocked everybody you know. out from the podcast. Right? So, uh, I, which I, 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 I don't police what other grown men say. I just block yeah. them. Which, by that's, the way, we don't care. Much. It doesn't make a difference to us. But in the recent events that came up. That's the only reason why we're bringing it we up. We always a bad guy, man. We yeah. always the father guys way, with shit. Man. We don't when when you're a black, when you're black and you're a man, you typically always are the bad guy. That's yeah. true. You hate to see uh, it. I didn't think about uh, it like that, Bon. Um, did I read this? Uh, bless yeah, I read Bless Reds. Uh, J Law, never forget how wrong Bond was about the switch. You may oh. not be wrong often, but when you are, you are really wrong. How was I wrong about mm. the switch? Somebody tell me. Get him, Blandrew. Tell me. I'm not doing this today, BG. So, somebody <laughs> tell me how I was wrong about the Switch. Get him. Somebody got to get him. You can't, because what oh I said God. about the Switch came true. I said, once that man is gone, Nintendo will reach a new golden age. And I said, look, 
Phil Jackson had to go. You had people like Player Essence saying, why would you get rid of Phil Jackson? I was like, nigga, this ain't Phil Jackson on the Lakers or the Bulls. This is Phil Jackson on the Knicks. You know, and I, just magically. And you know what the funny thing is? It didn't even take years after that man left for Nintendo to turn it around. As soon as he was gone, as soon as he was gone, we'll just put it that way. Nintendo was off to the races. They just acted like they had a fucking boulder or a tumor cut out from their back. And this is what I've been saying about Microsoft. They, Microsoft had every opportunity. And now, Smooth, you have no choice but to agree with what I'm about to say now. They had every opportunity for the last seven years to get rid of Phil Spencer and to get a different voice in there, and they didn't. And now it's gone on so long that the Xbox situation is terminal, and now all their shit is on all other platforms. There, there's, there's no stopping it now. Okay. Do you honestly think that there was saving Xbox, though? But I'm saying, seven years ago, had they got rid of Phil Spencer, five years ago, hell, maybe even three years ago, and they went in a different direction, they might have had a chance. But now Phil has been there so long, it could take one to two generations to reverse that. And even then, like, they're so far behind on everything. And Phil has just been a disaster for everything Xbox to the point where even Kid Smooth has said, I wish Apple were to buy them. Like, that's how bad Phil has been for the Xbox brand. He just wishes that Microsoft didn't even own Xbox. So, look, sometimes you need a new coach. Just says what it is. Nintendo got a new coach. I mean, it wasn't they were forced to get one, but it is what it is. And like I said, once that man is gone, Nintendo will ascend to the golden age in which they have. Um, ruffle my... Hey, uh, smooth, your kid is on camera. I mean, I, I don't know if you want him on camera or not, but... <laughs> he did like a jump scare. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> Harvey, I mean, if, sit you, down, Harvey. if you uh, want him on camera, that's cool. I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, where it was? Hey, uh, Vaughn, I had a question. Oh, I got I a question. Go you said ahead. Voice, bro. Jazzy, no, go ahead. Make it quick. Uh, you said you asked what you were wrong about the Switch? Yep. Uh-oh. You said it, was, it wouldn't succeed. You said it would fail. Yeah. That's all. Unless they got rid of that man. And they got, well, they didn't get rid of that man. Um, Divine Intervention got rid of that man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. Hey, he. How they got rid of him, not my call to make. He was just gone. Divine intervention. And look, I made I even made a video after that, and people got upset at me to where Solid Rev and his wife had to make a video. And I'm like, oh, where's Nintendo gonna go next? They're gonna go back. Like, why are you talking about Nintendo's future? Look, when Steve Jobs died, they were talking about who's what's gonna happen to Apple. When that man was gone, we gotta talk about what's gonna happen to uh like like look, like if, if something happened to when something happened to Embiid, we got to figure out what's going to happen next. Like shit happens, man. When your big dogs go down, you got to move on. We're not we're not sitting here grieving for months and months. Yeah, people making videos, crying over this man, acting like they were his best friend at his funeral. Like you ain't know that man. No, for you it was more so like the messenger than the message because you were calling for a while to be fired for way yes. He I That's was calling was. for a while to be fired because he wasn't doing his job. Reggie wasn't doing his job either. Same with Phil Spencer. And you know what? If if it had persisted for a year longer and, G- and Jim Ryan didn't resign, I would have been saying the same thing about Jim Ryan. Ruffle but Jim my. Ryan was but Jim Ryan was smart. He got out while the getting was good. Thank you, Jim. R- uh, Ruffle Mutt. Has it uh rumor has it that the PSP and PS2 is coming to iOS? He also said, I think Sony will be next to sue if the PS1, if the PS1 hit iOS. Sony lazy asses ain't suing nobody. No, they I think let he's... Shit rock. Oh, okay. They gonna let this oh. shit rock. Them niggas lazy. Because Apple said they're allowing like other console emulators on their, yeah. their phones. So. I mean, I don't think it's a big deal because Android been emulating old games for like years now. So it's just, it just now came to Apple. But it's unfortunate unless you just only have an iPhone. Uh, forget I don't want it. To do that to yourself. Forget it, Brian. How soon will the main cast exit after After Dark today? Let me address this uh, really, really quickly. 
Um, forget it, Brian. I understand you, you know, when you tune into After Dark, you want to hear a lot of the main cast, but you also have to concede and have some understanding that we're do what we do in the extra podcast. We understand like it's content that you do pay for um, six dollars a month for like a crazy amount of hours of content, by the way. People do have lives. You got to You got it's, it's not like other, you know, like certain Patreons that other organizations have where they can quit their jobs and put all other responsibilities aside so I can just tune in and, and, ab, and be, tune in absolutely to this extra content. Kid, kid, Smooth got kids and a wife and responsibilities. You know, people have some things to do after being on here. So we still try to give y'all as much content as possible by us and by other people outside of the podcast. We, we give y'all, bro, y'all get like on average 20 hours of extra entertainment for $6 a month, bro. That's on average. Sometimes one After Dark B could, could be eight hours. Go to like two o'clock and shit. Yeah. So I get it, dog. But... Y'all, y'all got to give a little bit. Y'all got to be a little bit understanding, you know. You know what I'm saying, dog? Come on, bro. We be killing, we be killing ourselves. We're, we're up here to, giving you free entertainment right now when there's really no topics. So I'm just saying, bro. Be a yeah, little bit been, understanding. We could have been playing Hell Divers again. Being a little bit understanding, please. Uh, J-Law, you said the switch would fail. You were wrong. I was talking about you, Bon. <laughs> yeah, we already, we already went over that. I was yeah. right. Yeah. What? Uh, okay. Uh, this was being re- brought up by um, a few reporters this week. Microsoft has more bestsellers on the PlayStation Store right now than Sony does. The Fallout TV show oh. and Sea of Thieves on PS5 are certainly having an impact. So mm-hmm. this was said because yes, yeah, Sea of Thieves was on. Um, because Sea of Thieves, you know, when you go to the PlayStation Store bestsellers, Sea of Thieves. Uh, see if these was on there uh oh yeah and i and i was confused because i'm like it's only see if thieves on there um yeah but they can't fall out of duty and yeah they fallout. call they, then, then i saw call of duty and it's like fall out on there like, shit. And, and i'm like my, my thing ab- about this is is like x i think sometimes i think xbox fans celebrate like these the wrong victories yeah and these false victories that don't really mean anything and they they what try vi- to what, they try, what victory? No, nah, because is, the thing is, is everybody's well, there. What, 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 what I was saying is like this. Th- this has no meaning behind it. There, there is no victory here, right? If you want to make the case, and I said this on Twitter, that the victory is that the money, seventy percent of the money, is going back to 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 Microsoft and Xbox. That's never man. That's not really manifested in any type of benefit to the Xbox gamer. Anything that Xbox fans have like celebrated for like the past, uh, you know, decades, it's really been like false victories that never manifested into anything that y'all really were happy about when everything was done with it. Y'all celebrated, you know, what y'all thought was the greatest acquisition in history. And now most of you regret it and, it, and it means nothing to you because of the decisions they made. So money doesn't really, hasn't really helped you. The, the, the time, the last time that Xbox fans holistically were very happy was during the 360 era when Microsoft was actually the, the tightest with the, with the game, gaming budget. After that, it's been just mixed periods of y'all being absolutely miserable happy and thinking that there's some hope on the horizon going back to absolutely miserable oh things are going to change here oh this is great and y'all being absolutely fucking miserable again and this is not like damage control or anything it's just absolute facts like anytime you look at the xbox fan base y'all are y'all are unhappy about something and y'all have been that way for the for the like over a decade again i hate to say this again but guess who was right All of us, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm gonna bring this back because you know what? I can always connect the dots. But you know real quick, really pro- go ahead. It, the last, because last thing I was gonna say, it's, it's like, and, and it's like you can't say a lot of this stuff. You know, they're gonna bring, oh, you're hating, oh, you're a pony. It's, it's like when, when Microsoft said, you know, the like the thing with, oh, we're gonna, um, announce engagement numbers now, and engagement numbers are what matters. When we told y'all 
bro, these engagement numbers are empty, are empty like stats. They don't mean shit. So they told you, oh, Starfield had 20 million players. That means 20 million players. We don't know what that really means because 20 million players could be 20 million people who just launched the game. Because as soon as you launch the game, that counts. And we're saying that doesn't actually mean anything. And you got called a hater and a pony then. And it, it, came, it, came, it always came to fruition that, yeah, those, that shit didn't really mean anything because now you got those games that... You got a bunch of those games, four of them, and probably more that are going to other platforms. So if those games were doing as great as they boasted or like acted like they were, that likely wouldn't wouldn't be happening. So all I'm saying is like, bro, y- y- y'all got to stop. Like, that's the reason why y'all in the position where y'all at now and why people always hit y'all with the meme of the dude celebrating when he's in when he's in third place, you know, biting the, the fucking bronze medal because y'all celebrate all the shit that means nothing like y- this. This means nothing because PlayStation isn't releasing anything and that's a problem in itself that's a separate issue but y'all games being best sellers on playstation when playstation isn't dropping anything yeah yeah dog that's that's a no-name artist dropping an album and going number one when nobody else dropped that week so it means nothing it's a bigger deal than this because it proves my overall point what does these games being better sellers on PlayStation mean, really? The PlayStation might have... And you can make the argument that PlayStation gamers supported it more or just as much, maybe. No, it proves the point that PlayStation gamers buy games and Xbox yeah. gamers don't. Now, remember the prior argument. Microsoft puts, gets Call of Duty, right? The Xbox argument was, oh, well, people are going to buy Xbox or go to Xboxes. Don't get it on Game Pass. Nigga, nobody cares about Game Pass. People have no problem buying games on other consoles, as shown. All those games are free on Game Pass, but they're still bestsellers on PlayStation. Which goes to further prove my point that the argument to say that the games are on both consoles, PlayStation and Xbox, but one has Game Pass is an irrelevant argument. Because the PlayStation people, or hell, even the PC people, will still buy those games as opposed to subscribe to Game Pass. You can even go on the Steam bestsellers. When Microsoft drops a game, the Microsoft games are pretty high up there on Steam as well. So... That just destroys the whole point that all things considered equal, that the gamers will go to Game Pass. They have shown that they do not. And, and also, uh. it, the last thing I'll say on it is like, yeah, there are, there are definitely PlayStation dudes who pretend that they don't care about these games. Don't get me wrong. They, they, there's absolutely some frauds out there who, who pretend they don't care about these games and they actually do or have some interest in, in, in playing them. But... The game, those games uh, charting or being, you know, on that list, brother, the majority of those people who are like supporting it and, and making it on that list are not the people who be talking to you and in this community and, and all that shit. Those are those are those are the casuals or the people outside outside of that. Most, very much likely. Um, and also, also though, B- yeah, yeah, BG, yeah. how do I word this? You cannot care about a game enough to want to buy a console, but you can care about the game enough to buy it on something you've already owned. For example, like sometimes people are like, oh, well, uh, why don't you just get the console for some people don't want to pay an extra five hundred dollars to play a game. But the barrier of entry, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars, if the games are on something you own is completely different. Yeah, it's just a weird flex move. No, um, I agree with a you know a couple things. The yeah, I don't know why people are celebrating uh, that. It's like people on 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 the Xbox side um, are just looking for anything that is a pro or that looks like a a W in this scenario. Um, and so the biggest thing is like, okay, uh, Microsoft had uh, a few games on PlayStation's bestsellers list. You know, that turned into articles and that became like some sort of weapon. And my thing is, and I'm, and I'm asking everyone, is like, what does that do for me as the Xbox gamer? It's like Xbox is making money. And we talked about this earlier. Making more money does not net me 
anything but regret so far <laughs> but, but regret. regret but regrets and um so it's it, it is a, it's a it's an empty w i'm not understanding it i guess is more so to remain relevant in some of these sort of list wars well my game did better on you know your platform ha 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 i don't i, I don't know uh and that's literally them recovering for the fact that those games are on that platform um as far as like those games selling better or it, proving that you know playstation gamers buy games and xbox don't um i'm going to you know say what you say you know i'm a big supporter of game pass and i i'm a, a person that i feel like i don't have to i shouldn't have to buy another game again if i'm freaking paying for a subscription service yes i am cheap game pass has made me a cheap gamer i've been conditioned i don't care i'm not embarrassed by it but why the, not yeah I got a life. I'm an adult, a responsible one. That's so that. let me ask you a question then. <laughs> Why did you used to make fun of PC gamers for being cheap bastards that waited for sales? Because I was immature. So moving on. Um, Ooh, the, the, <laughs> the, the thing is, though, is that yes, it's one of the best selling, but like also PlayStation doesn't have anything significant out there that's going to sell like Game Busters and the games that everybody's hyping that's our PlayStation exclusives aren't selling that great outside of Helldivers. Um, again, uh, I think Sea of Thieves has been on the top like pre-orders uh, for like mo ever since the announcement. You know, uh, it was ahead of Stellar Blade for um, a moment. So all that can translate to, yeah, Sea of Thieves may push 100 150,000 copies in a month of April where there's nothing no megatons coming out. Yeah, it's going to be considered a top seller, but it's not like it's selling like millions. It's not that big of a uh, big a deal. Call of Duty right now in the month of like, you know, April isn't selling millions. It's probably selling some high 100,000s at this point. Uh, but it's a light month. So it looks like in the charting scenario, it's like literally games selling in UK. People celebrate, oh, this is the best selling game in UK. And when you look at the numbers, it's only it's only about like 60, 70,000 or something like that for that week. But um, uh, I will say, yeah, it is a, a sad day. Um, it, it's something I can't really co-sign. Um, and I need, uh, it, it, it's weird. PlayStation and Xbox is in this weird scenario, right? And everybody's just looking for, you know, gains and wins. PlayStation fans right now celebrating, you know, the way Helldivers is performing on PC and how some of the Xbox games are, you know, having better shadows and foliage on uh, PlayStation. Xbox celebrating games selling, Xbox games selling good on, you know, PlayStation and how Microsoft is making so much money off of it. But at the end of the day, it's a net negative because neither of us, Xbox, ain't, ain't got nothing new to play. And PlayStation Gamers, I mean, the roadmap looks kind of light and we're just taking whatever they're getting us. Uh, yeah, so. this is one of the first times I think both are down. Like, as far as, like, usually there, there's, like, when one is down, the other one is always there to capitalize. And, like, okay, we, yeah, we about to shit on y'all. And the, this year and last year, in any other timeline, like be before shit that's going on now been going on, this would have been prime real estate for Microsoft to capitalize on Sony. But now, like, it, the, the, the perfect time and only time in history where it's, it's been, you, you could argue certain, certain times during the PS3, Sony was like really down bad, but they still at least dropped games during that, those down bad times. They have, right now, they have no games, no games to drop. They only dropped one last year. So if any other year, this would have been the prime time for Microsoft to be like, this is it. This is our moment. And then it converged to be a time when they said, we're neutral. We're kind of third party. Fuck all that competition shit. You know, um, so it's, it's just strange. It, it's so interesting that the one... The, the best opportunity they ever had, they don't want it. So. It hurts the most. Oh, my God. And, <laughs> and, it's, and, it's, and it's killed a lot of conversation. Uh, it's, it's made, like, conversations on Twitter about gaming. Gaming discourse is fucking horrible. Bo yeah. Boring. Like, there, have you noticed, like, uh, Twitter? Damn, I, for, I already forgot the fucking names of it. What's that shit where we get on Twitter and listen to motherfuckers talk? Spaces. Oh, spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter space, bro. I don't know the last time Trash. I've been to Twitter spaces. Trash, Twitter spaces has been bro. dead. What happened to that clown that said he was going to get a $300 microphone and come back? Oh, um, 
Xbox University. Yeah. <laughs> you see what's wrong with you, buddy? He's going to pull up on you, brother. Yeah, like. I mean, I'll be down on the islands in a couple of months. I might see him. Man. Oh, we. Ever I since... wish I ran to his ass down there. Y'all sit down for a beer, man. Chill out. Yeah, man. Ever since. Nigga pro- yeah, he probably drink Red Stripe. <laughs> what's that mean? <laughs> You know you what know Red Stripe is? Red Stripe beer. Who red beer? You ain't never seen the Red Stripe commercials, bro. Nah. You're a loser. Yeah. Fuck. Um, so, yeah. It's a weird time. Sp- like, Discourse is dead. Sp- I haven't seen a Spaces in fucking like two months. Yo, uh, I'm sorry, but Spaces was probably the worst thing to happen to Twitter. Uh, I can't agree with that one. <laughs> I mean, that- Elon, Elon was the best thing to have because without Elon, I probably wouldn't even have a Twitter. So. Mm. Dumb, dumb I think you were, uh, engagement yeah. Am I what? Oh, you, you got unbanned. You got unbanned. That's what yeah, he, yo, crazy thing is, he unbanned me on my birthday. <laughs> How wild is that? Love uh, you, brother. Um, I think oh, speaking of which, BG, I um, I forgot to tell you, I got to this part of Final Fantasy VII at this bar. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, the, yeah, with Rude. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Is he Andrew Andrew Tate looking ass? Yeah. Uh, and the only other thing I got, which I'm sure none of us really care about, is uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance Two was announced. I, I was surprised that game got a sequel. Didn't expect that because th- this is a game that it launched on PS3 and 360, right? And it was like it had like a cult following, and then they re. Then they did like a remastered version that went to PC uh, and everything else. I think it's the same game, right? And the, and now uh, sequel is announced. I think this is the same game, unless I'm thinking of something else. I don't really care about it, but yeah, that's. that's Are we expecting a new Ghost of Tsushima if they just released it on PC? Not for another two years. Oh, oh, that's another fucking, two that's years? Fucking, that's fucking crazy if it's two years. So hold on, hold on, hold on. When did Ghost of Tsushima come out? 2020. 2020. 2020 years. So we need six years and what, five years of the fucking PlayStation? Like, don't, well, that's Sucker, crazy. Sucker Punch is a, is a very interesting, they're the only developer, right? Because there's been a, a lot of like questions from a lot of these PlayStation studios, right? But I would say they're the only ones that it's been zero conversation for them. We're not fucking talking. Like, uh, other stuff, you've had, like, leaks, rumors. There has been no rumor, no talk, no nothing from Sucker Punch. So either they, like, been in a bag and creating some, some hot shit banger that, that's going to blow our minds, or I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. Good or bad, I really don't know. There's been no, not even a, a rumor, bro. Nothing. I but I would expect Ghost. Of, I would expect as a Ghost of Tsushima sequel. That's what I would expect. And like this is not like I, I get it now why they want their games on PC because these niggas are only putting out one game a generation. Oh yeah, they're. I don't know how Sucker Punch is going to put out another game before this generation. I don't see how it's possible. Uh, Naughty Dog's possible. gonna Naughty Dog's only gonna get one game out too. Possible, yeah. And and with Sucker Punch, I can kind of. I can kind of excuse them more to Naughty Dog because Sucker Punch is small. Like, like they're, I think they're, they're like half the size of Naughty Dog and, and, and the created Ghost of Tsushima. So it took them longer to create that fucking giant ass, giant ass game. Now they're working on a, a sequel that's probably going to be, you know, all the, all the bad words that developers uh, use with the game development or it is going to be expansive. It, the, the scope of it is something we've never going to wow. seen before. It's, it's going to be, uh, what's that other fucking word I hate Amb- that they always ambitious. use? Oh, like, ambitious. Our most ambitious game yet. Oh, oh my brother. God. The horrible now, now shit Naughty, they say. When Naughty Dog delivers, are you going to be as hush mouth as you was loud this whole generation? When they deliver another game, a, a generation defining game, are you going to be hush mouth? Are you going to be like, Still could give you about two or three more. Like, how are you? How you going, talking how to me or that? Jack? You, anybody, anybody. I'm, I'm once Naughty Dog delivers. The, re- the reason, the reason we're mad is because they haven't delivered. So, but that's what I'm should, saying. Once they do, yeah, well, you also. I mean, what, what are you? What are we I gonna just, say? I, they I should. They should have already done that. 
I just hear I, this conversation and it's like it's the the same people just told y'all, you know what? This might be one of the greatest games I've ever played in my life. <laughs> and then y'all mad that they're taking their time trying to give you another reason to argue that conversation with yourself. Alex, Alex that's a good point though, because I know whenever they make a new announcement, people are like, "Oh, Jack, you did all that complaint, bro." The whole point is they were ha- <laughs> they're already supposed to have a game out right now, like so that doesn't work with me. They're supposed to their incompetence is the reason we're complaining. Because that's what they have a game out right now, and they don't would, have that. That's not our fault. Oh yeah, that's their factions. Fault. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's their fault. Factions. That ain't absolutely. our fault. Um, yeah, man. I don't. I don't know what these uh, studios, man. They're taking a lot of freaking time. Um, too long. It's it's crazy, man. I I don't know. Cause I would be happy when they announce a new game. That's what I've been waiting on. Actually, releasing one game uh, generation is is truly wild work, bro. It's um, nasty. It's, na- it's a nasty. It's a nasty ABG. work, bro. You know, you know what's even crazier, yeah. Jack? Even with all the leaks, we still didn't get any confirmation of anything coming out soon. Man, that but is like, true too. But true. the crazy thing is, anything else, anybody else getting a leak would have been nuts. But Sony, the the leak was nothing because Sony ain't got nothing to show. <laughs> yeah, they did hacking a naughty dog and they find no no announcements worth a note. Like, where the fuck? <laughs> they, they they had a leak, but there was no water, so nothing happened. There ain't no water in the leak. So, That's so crazy. No, why does it matter if you had a leak if you ain't pay your water bill? There ain't nothing running. Man, this shit you got a you got you got a leak and nothing came out but air. They shooting blanks over there, man. I hope I can't wait for another game announcement, yeah. though. Yeah, but no, Alex, I, blanks, I, I, bl- Alex, maybe they need the fucking blue chew. I just I just know, hey. And we doing before and after pictures of that too. I just know how we felt about Spider Man Two, and I know how Jack felt about Spider Man Two. I know how I felt, and how a few other people felt. And them shooting at such a high clip, now niggas back up like, man, that shit was kind of mid. I ain't yeah, gonna, uh, no, like, listen, and that's, and that's a big title. You feel there's me? There's like, been a lot of, I think people have overstated uh, Insomniac as like a top three developer because of their output. Right, output deserves points, but I think y'all were giving them a little bit too many points because of out simply because they bring out the same game over and over again, bro. If we being real, bro. Because my thing is, yes, Naughty Dog, all all the shit we've said about them is absolute facts. But who doesn't think when they drop whatever their next game is, it's gonna shit on anything like, and I mean shit on. You know, in in a it's very only polite shit on way. Every game is something that has ever put out. Absolutely, that's that's why I. Mean, what, that's what that's, w- that's why, like, when people be like, "Oh yeah, they're better than Naughty Dog," I'd be like, "Listen, y'all need to relax. Their pro- their productivity is better. Whatever Naughty Dog works on, when whenever they release a game, is going to shit on anything that Insomniac touches. Let's be real. That's just facts." If it's so, the same Naughty Dog that made the last, yeah. the last previous game. And, and now that's really what scares me, Jack. My, my only fear is as, as the longer time goes on, we're losing that premier talent within the studio that we may yeah. not even know their fucking name, but the niggas that have the sauce, that's what scares me. You feel me? Yep. Yeah, like I'll tell so, you this. I'll tell you this right now. What, what was the date of the last Naughty Dog game? 2020. 2020. 2020. If these niggas come out of the game in 2026 and it's trash... I <laughs> exactly, exactly, what I, exactly what I'm saying because at that point uh, it'll have to take them 10 plus years to come out with a decent game and niggas will be saying exactly what I said about Starfield these niggas ain't made a good game in over 10 years I think <laughs> honestly it was funny to me I think uh, I think they would literally probably I think they would cancel another game before they put out some trash that's one thing I do believe I, about I agree them. I agree I think they would cancel something else before they do that. So let, let me ask you, do you think it will make sense to just kind of hold some of these games back and just wait till the next generation of PlayStation to release these games? No, no. At, because mm-hmm. at this point, these things are all PCs anyway. They're, They're going to go to the next. Cross, yeah. They're going to go, go, no. go to the next platform. They're going to go to the next platform anyway. So. They're going to go to the next platform, and they're also going to remaster these yeah. same games. Like They're going to do the same thing they do right now. They're going to remaster the games while having them. They're already going to be 4K60. They're going to remaster them and be like, yeah. well, you know, we put some volumetric lighting and ray traced reflections and new dual like, support. I, 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 I do think it's well, possible. Like when you did that. Okay, I finally get to see it. <laughs> I do think it's possible that shit at, like the last two years two and a half years of this generation, PlayStation does end up putting a lot of shit out. 
and not it won't make up for these two years. But I do I I I can see like their last two years, you know, being like okay, they went they went fucking crazy, and then when the PS uh, six comes out, like it's a bunch of remastered versions of those at at launch or ports and all that shit because we've we've seen we've seen them do that. But I, I do believe their last two years, like I don't I don't see I don't think they have a choice. Like they, whatever that, whatever whoever is working on now, it it would have to come out in the in the last two two and a half years. It would have to. Oh, so. this shit gonna be crazy! If they cancel the second game after canceling factions, oh my god! I don't want to see new games, new single player games, man. Games of service shit cool, bro. But if that's all y'all got in the tuck going forward, bro, like, nah. <laughs> nah, bro. I know that nigga BG be waking up in Next cold sweats sometimes are... over fucking <laughs> factions too. Next <laughs> game I don't even think the, about the, it. The next closest game from making a Molotov. Oh, you hear me? Oh, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, we hear you. Okay, my bad. The mean? next closest games are from the Marvel universe: the uh, Wolverine and Venom. Venom and then Wolverine. Oh, a right? Venom standalone game! I can't yeah. wait. Yeah. Oh, they're just great. they're they're incubators. They're Marvel incubators, bro. Like like, listen, I I, I said it. You might as well trade, trade uh, it, fucking ins- Insomniac to to Marvel to make them a Marvel it, studio. That, so that's what they are. About this too, BG. So according to reports, Venom is gonna be a standalone fifty dollar game, and then Spider Man two, Spider Man three is gonna be two standalone fifty dollar games that come that come together. It's gonna be like part one and part two. Like, I don't know, bro. I'm not feeling. I'm not. I'm not feeling a lot of this news we getting, bro. This shit about to be ass, dog. Like, what the fuck are they doing over there, bro? Now they're doing games in installments now. Like, I guess they seen Final Fantasy got away with it. Like, fuck it. Let's break this shit up. Well, break uh, the shit up. Part one and part two, brother. $50 a piece. $100 for a game. Yes, sir. Uh, that's. Are we talking about the other game they got announced this week that I was very happy about, brother? We talking about what? that? What's the wait? Let me look at my list. Uh, it's a few announcements. That, it's a few announcements that came uh, out this week. Must have must have missed my time. My time. What, well, what, what I'm missing? Um, Tim Tim and T shattered. Yeah, there was an indie about. world. BG. Glad you talked to this man about never, the indie world, bro. Never heard of it. Oh wow! They they announced a roguelike TMNT game. They announced a sequel to an Image and Form game that I hear was really good. Steam World Heist. Fire. Yeah, they announced. Um, I think it was called like Anton or something. It's kind of like that Pizza Tower game meets WarioWare. Looks pretty cool. It's coming out this November for the Nintendo Switch and a couple other titles. I can't remember off the top of my head, but those were the the standout games. Yeah, man. Splintered Fate is a roguelike game. A lot of people compare it to Hades, but it's with TMNT. It was only on iOS. It's finally got announced on the Nintendo Switch. I think it's a timed exclusive. Hopefully, it comes to PlayStation. We got three. We actually got four. We got four announced. TMNT games coming to the PlayStation platform. Hopefully, it'll be four. It's it's looking good, man. And and Steam World Heist is one of my favorite games of all time. The sequel, okay, people. The sequel is coming out August the eighth. This gives you plenty of time to cop and play the first game. Y'all need to do that. It's it's on everything. All right, Steam World Heist one. Also, go get Steam World Dig one and two. Steam World Quest. Go get all this. Hoping okay? we got Dig three, Jack. I love Steam World. Dig oh, 2. I fuck with Steam World. Dig, but I'm gonna tell you, Blend Drew Heist. I think Heist better than Dig, man. I think Heist my favorite scene where a game, bro. I ain't gonna is lie. it? I know bro, they made shit. like a, a town defense game or something too. Oh yeah, they got like Steam World. What is it? Yeah, the city joint. I ain't played that one. I didn't. I wasn't really feeling the way that was looking. Steam World Build, I think it's called. Yeah, I wasn't really feeling the way that was looking. But uh, the rest of them games, a one dog. Uh, the listen. soundtrack for Steam World Dig too. I have that on vinyl. I, I put that on every now and again. That joint yeah, that on hard, vinyl. Bro. Wow, he got fancy, a dope soundtrack. It definitely fancy do. guy. Uh, trivia see. question, real quick. Um, let's do a few. MB eighty six ninety six. Here's the question: ninety seven, ninety five, ninety four. These are the Metacritic scores for the first three mainline games of which of the following series? So that's an, it's ninety seven, ninety five, ninety four mainline games. Is it God of War, Halo, Metroid Prime, or Resident Evil? Metroid. What was the question again? 97, which, which mainline games got these score? The first three of their games. Uh, 97, 95, and 94 on Metacritic. Is it God of War, Halo, Metroid Prime, or Resident Evil? Halo. Hmm. It's, it's not or Halo. It's not God of War, because the first I mean, God of War got a 94. I'm going to go Halo. I'm going to go Halo. I'm going Metroid. 
It's not God of War. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say honestly. I'm gonna say. I don't think it's. I don't think it's Resident Evil either. I'm gonna say Halo. Correct. It's Halo. Yeah. Halo ninety. Halo takes Halo. Ninety-seven. Ninety-four and what else? Ninety. Ninety-seven. Ninety-five. Ninety-four. Those are the scores. That's, yeah. Oh damn! They fell from grace, move. What's What's going on with them? Uh, Metroid Prime has ninety-seven. Yeah. Probably I knew it was in God of War. I'm like, a God of War never got a 97, not the original. No, the highest, yeah. the highest one was a 94, which was the original yeah. game. Uh, Metroid Prime is 97, 92, 90. Okay. Good question. Good question. Yeah. Uh, Nick Knack, another gaming list. Spot what all these games have in common. To give you an easy hint, this list has nothing to do with their games, but rather something different. Okay, here are the list of games. What do these have in common? Castlevania, Cuphead, League of Legends, Cyberpunk 2077, and Tekken. What? Nothing to, uh, are they any... inspired by a tabletop game? No, that's not it. No, Cuphead, not, not, no. Cuphead, not Cuphead. Wait, Tekken's in there. Oh, never mind. My bad. Cuphead and Cyberpunk. What Cuphead, Cyberpunk, Castlevania, and Castlevania, Tekken. Castlevania, Cuphead, League of Legends, Cyberpunk 2077, and Tekken. Come on, think. Y- y'all, y'all know this. They have one thing in common. It has nothing to do with their actual games. Ten year like uh, development cycle, long. <laughs> no, eight to ten year development cycle. Was it a, a change in perspective, and they took it out before the? No. They have vampires. No. Oh. Oh no, there is a vampire cuphead. Cup? Well, no, not what vampire. the fuck? I'm trying to think. Cuphead. They ain't got nothing to do with no voice actor. Uh, I'm gonna just let y'all know. Uh, they all got a uh, anime. Cause yeah, the chat already figured it out way before y'all. Wait, they, they they all have they got TV sh- shows. TV shows or animated uh, shows. Well, nah, you gotta give me that one. I basically got it. Bro. All right, cool. Ah, uh, the chat been saying it though. The shit. I'm not looking at the chat. The shit. The shit. I didn't. I didn't think. I'm thinking about the actual <laughs> game. Like I'm like. Perry, I don't fucking know. Even I'm though good. BG said it had nothing to do with the game, that's kind of where my mind was still. Jack, at. don't listen to me. Yeah. No, I heard, no. I heard that, but I'm like, I'm thinking like, I still don't know. No, that, I, I was still stuck in that realm too. It's yeah, funny. me yeah. too. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? I don't know. I just, I mean, I said, Cuphead got a TV show, <laughs> Cyberpunk got a TV show, and my girl watched the Castlevania show. So, yeah. I watched the Cuphead show. It's okay. I don't like how stupid they made Cuphead and his brother Mug Man in that show. <laughs> like, they really said she beat Cuphead. <laughs> They really fucking stupid. And they made they made Miss Chalice. She like she finessed them. She be finessing them and shit. She like a trifling bitch too. Like she got them locked up on the end of the first season. That's crazy. They showed that bad episodes too. Like they don't be like Speaking of cartoons, the complete series for both the Powerpuff Girls and Dexter's Lab will be coming to DVD within a month. Nice. That fire. Check this out. Why didn't they put it on Blu-ray, man? Clean it That's up fire. a little bit. Yeah. You know what I would really like? I I, I would just really like uh, um because you know they have, they have so many different versions of like Looney Tunes and 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 Bugs Bunny like so many different eras. Like, I want the I don't know I don't even know what it is just just the ones that the Bugs Bunny cartoons that um I was watching when I was a kid. Um, I don't know which volume or series they consider those because there's so many different iterations and, and evolutions a lot of shit was racist too bj you know that right oh yeah that, that made it better yeah, it starts like in the 20s with yeah like, you're probably watching like the ones from like the 70s or something probably yeah. that's what i'm saying like they go so far back i'm like i don't know which ones these are you know what i'm saying but uh the racism in um them Looney Tunes made that shit fire. Though. You mean when he dressed up like a runaway slave so a dude when um shoot him? That <laughs> yeah. was, that's a real clip, bro. Look that shit up. Buzz Bunny dressed up like a runaway slave, bro. Yeah. That oh, shit had him in black on the black face. face. Yeah. yeah. He's like, no, Master, no, 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 son, no. I'm like, what the mm-hmm. fuck? Yeah. Oh, I remember that scene. I don't remember. What the guy. fuck is going on? Did uh, you ever watch the um the Looney Tunes show? That was very yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Very Baby good Looney Tunes. You fuck with Baby Looney Tunes? Hey there, everybody! It's a beautiful. I I love baby. Oh, Muppet Babies! Hey, hey, Muppet Babies was y'all probably too young to remember Muppet Babies, bro. That show was the shit, bro. Oh my god! Uh, one more question, Uh, Mafia Quad. Uh, In the original Tomb Raider game released in 1996, what is the name of the ancient artifact that Lara seeks to recover? Is it A, the Holy Grail? B, the Philosopher's Stone? C, the Ark of the Covenant? Or D, the the uh, Scion of Atlantis. I'm going to say C. 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 Ark of the Covenant. Atlantis. Philosopher's hey. Stone. Hey. 
<clears throat> it is the Scion of Atlantis. Yes, sir. Fuck. <laughs> I never played. I played the first two screens and then I guess like stuck and I turned that bitch off. So I Me neither, but I know a lot of like treasure hunting things were like centered around Atlantis back in the day. For whatever. But that original Tomb Raider was rough, bro. I didn't know what I was doing, bro. I think I had the bitch on PS1. I rented it. I got like to the second, third. I'm like, bro, what the, how the fuck you do this shit? Bro, I wasted my weekend rental on that game, bro. I, I played it to the third screen, bro. How would y'all pronounce the word X I A N? Zion, Jean. I know X I is Chi, yeah. Or Key. So, Key is home. I asked because the, the artifact that the, the artifact, the artifact that you uh, get in Tomb Raider 2 um, is called the, the dagger. Of and I still can't remember how to pronounce. As a kid, I always because I remember they don't pronounce like X. Obviously, they don't pronounce X. It, you know, they don't pronounce those X uh, the words that begin with X like that. Mm -hmm. I thought it was uh, Zion, right? I thought like their X's become Z's or some shit like that. I looked it up how to pronounce it. It was some wild shit. I, I was like saying it completely wrong as a kid. Um, they don't I say it in the game. No, I don't think they mention it in the game. Not voice acted. I don't think they voice oh. actually say it. Yeah. Uh, Jack bringing it up. What do y'all remember the worst game you've ever rented on a blockbuster or from whatever? <laughs> That's up there. I think, That's one of them. That's up I there. I think mine might have been. Um, do y'all remember the Rabbits games? I Maybe do. Was, uh, on the Wii. Man. Yeah. Nah, I'm talking about PS2, nigga. That was, uh, Alex, you know what other game I put up there? Uh, when I I I heard hype about this game, I was seeing it everywhere. I'm like, I gotta try it out. Don't say four uh, stars. The original Super Smash Brothers. Rented it. I said, this is shit niggas is hyping, bro. This shit is straight up doo-doo <coughs> garbage, okay? <laughs> hated so the series ever since. Doo-doo garbage. I hated the series mm. ever since then. It, that goes back. You know, sometimes if a game was really bad, I finesse it. I take it back up there like, man, if this don't work, bro, I don't know what's going on. And you know the problem with Blockbuster back there, bro? All the hottest games were never there, bro. You always had to go with like your second or oh, third yeah. option, bro. It's like, damn, y'all ain't got no more copies, bro. That's because in Memphis, niggas probably didn't return them and sell them. Oh, they definitely didn't, but oh, bro, they, bro, never, they never had it, bro. Nigga, my stepsister used to um print the CD. And when Blockbuster went down, she started doing that shit on Redbox. <laughs> she would print the CD and then return the fucking case, bro. Yeah. Uh, she was one of them yeah. trifling motherfuckers. Yes, yeah. yes, indeed. that's the thing. Like back in the day, I don't really remember a lot of games being bad. So I, I pretty much enjoyed every game I played up until like PS3 360. That was partially due to ignorance, though, because there were some games that I thought were good as a kid. And a little bit later, I realized were definitely bad. And by the way, it's Xion chat corrected me. That's how you say it. It's their X's or S's, I guess. Um, yeah, because. There were yeah, there was a few games as a kid. I thought like, oh no, this is just how a game plays. No, it was it was dog shit. It was dog shit. Oh, Jack. Speaking yeah, of old of games and shit like that, if PlayStation puts another fucking PS2 game, but it's PSP version, I will literally scream. That that, that is whole, gonna be the most yeah. infuriating shit ever. I'm I'm trying to play the game. The menu is literally 144p. It's crunchy as fuck. Why are you putting a PSP game? They're the doing PS2 a horrible section. job. They're doing a horrible job of implementing that. They they promised originally, whenever 2014, whenever it was they announced PS uh now, they they haven't I'm not getting into it, bro. Nigga, <laughs> I'm not getting to, into it, bro. Nigga, I tried to play Thrillville off the rails, nigga. They put the PSP version of that shit. Like, what are you doing? Okay. Uh hey, Jack, Nack, so, oh. real quick, Nick Nack said four more days until Stellar Blade get hype, people. Speaking next That shit come out in four days? I think it's three now. Oh yes, what? It's, it's four, that's three this four. week. Damn, yeah, it's this I week. Didn't yeah. know. Yes, yeah, I knew. Week. I knew reviews dropped this week, but I didn't know the game actually came out. Yeah, it comes out this week. Speaking next episode, uh, that you're going to talk about the game. Do you take requests for guests to be on the show? If you, if you do, I can re uh, recommend a YouTuber named Mugen Lord uh, on it. I know, I know. He's the guy. Yeah. He's the guy with the straight hair. Yeah. So. Look, this is how you get guests on uh, Weapon, right? Just send the pay Patreon. We got a hundred dollar tier, right? If we don't have VG gonna add it after this. Put a hundred dollars <laughs> in there and leave the name of the person we gonna reach out to. Now, if they don't accept, we ain't got nothing to do with that. But we we reserve the right to keep y'all money. But we gonna oh, try to God. reach out and get them on. Uh, I'll look him up. And no, I'll see. No, he's a he's a cool dude. Okay, Blanjo, you were gonna say something. 
No, I was just going to ask Jack a random question. He was talking about baby fight cartoons. Did you like pup named Scooby-Doo? Awesome. Okay, I, it's better than original Scooby-Doo, in my opinion. It's you the know what? Scooby-Doo series I like. Some I people love, don't I, like Scrappy for some nah, reason. Nah, I man, you can't Parker. say that. I like, like, a pup named Scooby-Doo was, was good, but nah, nothing, nothing's beating Scooby-Doo. I love the original Scooby-Doo, too. I don't know. I'm not mad at Blade you for saying it, though, because pup named Scooby-Doo, but only thing about pup named Scooby-Doo only had, like, 30 episodes, too, though. Like, they had a real yeah. short run with that joint. And Red Herring was a bitch ass nigga. Like, Red, it was always I, I, Red Herring, man. Red, <laughs> Red Herring was a bitch ass yeah. nigga, bro. It was know. Red Herring. I, I liked it better than you moron. I, 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 I ultimately really don't like Scooby Doo. Like I like me a pup named Scooby Doo, but but Scooby Doo in general, I'm like I don't like you, this show. It did you like me. the ones? Know. Did you like the hour long episodes where you met like famous people, like you and me, like Batman or like Sonny and Cher? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't. I don't like it. You you. But you know what I did like? I like. I thought the movie, the the movie they yep. made, Monster Island. I thought that shit was fire. I should oh, never seen. I never seen that. Yeah, it was it was like, oh, the the monsters are real this time. I don't remember if they were. I think they they might have actually been real. But I thought that shit was fire. But the show itself, I hated it. I, I even liked the um the early two thousands nineties live action movies more than I did the original cartoons. Wow. I never yeah. seen a movie like that. I never seen. I don't think I've seen that. Ever seen a Scooby Doo movie? I oh, just used to watch the show. I used to watch the show all the time. Though. There, no, th- I, those movies were great. There was even a song in on Zombie Island. That shit, bro. Terror. I think it was called Terror Time, bro. Go, you, look up that song from that movie, right? It's it, it's Terror Time again. I don't know who was singing it, but they was in a bag. I'm like, yo, this song is a little bit too fire to be a in a in a kids cartoon, like. Scooby they, was they, their heat, bro. Some of them yeah. be going in when it comes to like kids uh cartoon songs. Bro, that yeah, show man. used to scare my little sister, bro. That and the Adams <laughs> family, bro. I mean, she used to run it high under the bed. I'm like, bro, it's fucking Scooby Doo, bro. Like, what is wrong with you, man? What was, what was that show on, on Adult Swim with all the retard like the retarded family? You know what I'm talking about? You talking Martin? about the um Goblin? No, he's up. Yeah, that, that show that used yeah. show used to like just creep like creep me out. It made my skin crawl. I used to always just turn it. <laughs> like, around dad, looking like they have legs. Legs. <laughs> yeah. like no, nah, I can't watch this. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga had a worm coming out of his head or some shit, like a little big <laughs> little. All right. Let, let me read retarded <laughs> family. <laughs> let me read the rest of these super chats and then uh I don't got nothing else. Uh, King Hazy, BG, raise the price on these ninjas. Hey, man, I'm trying not to, uh, try not to be like PlayStation, man. Uh, mm, DJ, DJ yeah. Smith. I know, are you ain't giving no content. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Smith. They say if you drop water on Mocha's head, it shines like the ray tracing on a PS5 exclusive. Hey, man. You know, I'm dealing with a, a PS5 uh, with no disk drive, by the way. So Why? Mm, jiggy tape. Still got open cases. Hey, tap in. <laughs> jiggy tape 2. That's a I'm fucking not. fire bar. Jiggy bro. tape 2. Out now. Fire. Y'all tap in. Uh, uh, guy. Uh, DJ Smith also said, bruh, I walked outside today thinking it was uh, Eclipse again. Nah, it was just Mocha. All right. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Hey, um... <laughs> normally I don't, you know, normally I'll be like, listen, man, you know, let's not fire on people, you know. It's just that when when I know that I ain't do nothing to nobody, and then they like trying to like throw strays throw strays at me, I'm like, yeah, I'm okay with like firing on you. You know what I'm saying? Like Oh. I heard you, are you Jack too? Musa. I'm probably. I don't know, because I, I I don't see any native tweets from uh Yeah, I got the same hurt uh, Barbara. I don't, I don't know why she'll block you. I mean, look, I'll fire shots all over your face. I don't care. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. This guy. All right. My turn up. <laughs> this guy. Uh, pra- praise the Don. Bond, bon, do you think they should let Roman break Hogan's record? They dropped the ball having Cody go over Roman at WM40. No. I mean, Cody should have won last year. Finish the fucking story. Yeah. What's Ho- what's Hogan's record? It's like a thousand something days, thirteen hundred something weird. Okay. Ruffle Mutt. Shout out to the Knuckle series and Keanu Reeves. Yeah, he's gonna be playing Shadow. Yep. It's a TV show. I thought it was a movie. No, it's a movie. Knuckles movie. is a TV show. Shadow. Uh, Sonic Three is gonna be the movie. Yeah. 
And Keanu Reeves is going to be Shadow. They dropping a bag over there on them TV shows at Paramount, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Trying um, to keep them off the track. <laughs> yes, I heard man. Sony's supposed to be buying them, Jack. I That's saw ex- that. Exciting, I, saw I guess. That. I would rather Sony, even though Sony been moving like fucking idiots, I would prefer them about Paramount than uh, they was trying to merge with the WB, bro. And yeah. Paramount and WB is a the amount of the amount of old content they gonna delete off the internet permanently, bro. It's not a good luck, dog. I don't want that, bro. But before be, before we get out of here, why is why the fuck is my camera so zoomed in? This camera like a super zoom. Yo, in. get get out of my fucking <laughs> niggas can see how how bad my hairline <laughs> is, bro. Like we can see it from back yeah. here. Listen, I, I have an excuse. I've been very busy. That move has like kept me absolutely. How far away from your, from your barber now? You you wait. You like ah, uh, it's like forty minutes. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Well, I, I hate to say, it, I'm about that for my barber now too. I gotta, I I gotta jump on the highway and yeah, I'm 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 going to him one last time. I got a I got an appointment on on one Tuesday. Last time. Oh shit. I'm going to him one last time, like because I don't know if I'm want to keep going that far. So after Tuesday, after I'm probably gonna birthday. find one one closer. I'm probably gonna find one closer. You haven't been wearing your jiggy do ready, BG. It shows. Hold on. How, my my, how my issue to? is I got the I got the Puerto Ricans literally right next door to me. They do a phenomenal job. Them niggas charge like sixty five dollars a haircut. Jeez. <laughs> or Brazilian wax nigga? You come with a hand job or what? And I my barber cuts me for twenty, but like you know if I if. I got like somewhere to go, like a wedding. <laughs> or I gotta sense. fly somewhere and some shit. Like I, I gotta go to the Puerto Ricans. You said your haircut is twenty dollars, Bond. Well, I've been getting the same cut from the same dude since second grade, so no, he charges no everybody. Else. He charges everybody else more, but I get the same price. I know a nigga that charged fifty. He do a good job, but I already got a barber though, man. I well, yeah, I have. I uh, a man, what you trying to say, Alex? Comb your beard. I ain't trying to hear that shit. <laughs> My beard is plush, my nigga. I fucking manscape, hear me? But um, yeah, my camera is the, this webcam I got is the Ozbot, and you can make it. You can give it commands just by putting. Let up, me see my camera do that. Just yeah, by putting up gang sing, <laughs> gang signs. <laughs> Jack, stupid. My camera don't do that. What the yeah, hell? No. BG? Yeah, BG, yeah, you don't you have to like do like this and like this? I was gonna get that camera at one point. We throw a vice lord. Camera, it ain't working. What the fuck? Doesn't that camera like work like a head? It turns and shit like that. Yeah, like you? yeah. Yeah, I'll get in trouble with a camera like that. Man, my shit ain't working, yeah. BG. Fuck this shit, Hey, bro. stand up and twerk yeah. and see if it follow your ass while it's going up and down. You freak ass, man. <laughs> does, does, does anybody want to want to fire it, it fire on anybody? Like, go off on anybody? It's been that type of energy lately. Anybody got any smoke they want to get off? Put a, put a your name on some bullets. Anybody? Uh, I don't got nothing to say. The only thing I can say is, bro, matter of fact, Mocha, reach out to the boys, man. We trying to reconcile. We don't know what's wrong with your little weird ass. We ain't do nothing to you. <laughs> uh, I'm all about Bye. peace and positivity in the community, man. As long as you can admit when yes, you was sir. wrong, when you can admit that you wrong, I don't have no problem with you. But when you start... You literally just said somebody was dead to you today. Yeah, because that person doesn't know what accountability is, but I, I'm big on accountability. I know you are too. So when you lack accountability, I lack I lack empathy for your uh, dumbassery at that point. So I can't I can't do nothing with that. I'm kind of I'm kind of sad because I want to fire on. So, you know, usually I got a, like a fan base at least to fire on, but I don't got nobody. Here's, it's a, been, here's it's the thing about firing on people: you never fire first. You just retaliate to bullets with nuclear weaponry. Why didn't mm. Alex come on the podcast so you can fire him, Bond? Because he's never going to. He he remembers what happened on press start every time I would come in. So mm. I would literally have to go into press start, leave press start. He'd be talking crazy. Have to come back in. Like Jack, you remember that shit? I'd be popping in and out. Like Kofi, let me in here. Oh, like, I do remember crazy. you coming on the press start quite a bit back in the day. Yeah, because yeah, like people just be saying in. dumb ass shit. Great podcast. Well, like, like the the thing about. The internet is the internet is forever, and anybody can go back and look. Like, like, look, if you are adamant in saying that this was my standard or preference here, it has now changed. That's one thing, but you can't just change it up and act like that was the preference all along because then people will call you out on it. Well, the internet is forever, but if you go back and get old things, people might say it's Photoshop, mm-hmm. it's it's fake, it's it's not real, you know, it's AI. It's just you know you can't you can't you know. Oh, it's so what it is, bro. Download the archive from. It's oh like yeah, so if you ever wanted to, so if you go to your Twitter settings under your profile, it says download your Twitter archive. Now this is cool, right? Because it takes like a day sometimes to send it to you, but 
you can download everything you've ever tweeted, every DM you've ever... It only saves it for the past 10 years, though. So if you've been on Twitter for long, it ain't going to have everything. But every DM you ever received, even if the account is deleted, you can open up an HTML a JavaScript file and you can search through all your old DMs. They're there forever. They sent me... Uh, I personally did this move. They sent me over a 20 gigabyte file, zip file that I had to um, unpack. And apparently it's it's fake. It's, I, I, I made this, you know... You know, I'm the I'm one of the dumbest niggas around. Apparently, I made a JavaScript HTML file with actual <laughs> reference numbers and dates that have JavaScript. PayPal rece- I, <laughs> It's great. I'm living in a haunted house. I'm broke. <laughs> I ain't got nothing going on. But I know how to. If I know how to manipulate fucking computer code like that, I can have a job doing some real <laughs> nice things. You know what I mean? I, I'm sitting on a twin. Apparently, I got a twin size bed. I live in a haunted house. I don't know. You, you know what's crazy about the internet smooth. I posted a picture of me having a, a TV that it, it retailed for over two thousand dollars. Right? I bought this TV brand new. Yeah, it might have it, it might have put a scuff on the wall, moving it. It shit the motherfucker heavy. <laughs> now I live in a haunted house. Damn. Okay, because you saw two walls. I'm sorry, I don't have iridescent light, my nigga. Like I don't know. No, hold on, Jack. Jack, hold on. <laughs> I do have a video of a trash can spawning behind you out of nowhere for a jump scare. I do have now, that now, video. Now, niggas, niggas house is dirty because they they trash cans in the pictures. Like I'm sorry, I throw trash. <laughs> we throw trash away occasionally. Sure, Maybe not I, as I, much I, as we should. Jack, I'm sorry, I a, Jack. I did a fucking <laughs> video in front of a dumpster in Florida. Did people call you homeless behind that? That's <laughs> crazy, right? Behind the fucking Denny's at that. <laughs> <laughs> Now, last time you was behind a, by a dumpster bomb, we know what you did. That's why I asked earlier. What I did or what she did? Hey. Mm, what did Rev do? Let's talk about it. Oh, God. The, hey, man. Hey. Salute, man. Salute. So, so hey, subscribe to After Dark. It's all I'm going to say, man. If you ever think I'm lying about something, man, don't don't follow me. If, if y'all think I got to lie about regular shit don't follow me i'm a liar i don't like to follow liars so i, will, I don't follow liars. i'll leave the chat with these words of wisdom and you have to apply this in your <laughs> life where it applies the only way to win the game sometimes is to not play it's the only way don't cut that shit on bro don't cut it I on I said, bro. i think i said that to dr trey and people were making fun of me it's the only way you can win the game so when you when you play when you win you actually lose and i win for yeah. something like that, I don't know. Bruh, it's just crazy though, BG, right? Imagine a nigga be like, bro, you know you lying about that, right? They'd be like, well, I can't get it because of what happened. But if I ever happen to find it, matter of fact, imagine a conversation going like this. If I find it and show it, what you going to say? And the nigga say, I'm still going to say you lying. Yeah. <laughs> but, you, but, you, but you don't believe him, right? You don't believe nah. him at the time. Then you actually find it and you be like, and he say, that nigga lying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, was I mean, like, yeah, I was like, hey, I, he's like, I already don't, I already don't trust you. But if you tell me, I'm like, I tell you this, I, I can't mess with you. Y'all no. niggas stupid. <laughs> you, you ever see? You know, you you, you ever you, y'all remember the meme of uh? Oh y'all remember the 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 the, uh, the Patrick and was it Mer, not Mermaid Man? Uh, what's his name? Um, fuck the villain. Oh, you're talking man? about um. Now you talking about that? The stinky bubble? What nigga name no, was dirty? No, bubble, uh, the, the villain. I can't remember. Yeah, the name. villain. I forgot his I'm name. But that nigga with ma- uh, ma- ma- man, to- man, man, Captain man, Ray. man, Ray. Yeah, whatever uh, man is. Ray. Yeah, man, Ray. Ray. Sometimes that's what man life Ray. is like, right? Man it's Ray. like, it, well, not the R word, but like sometimes, like, yo, this, this, I saw you drop this wallet, right? Yeah, this wallet has your ID <laughs> in it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this must be your wallet. Yeah. So take it. It's not my wallet. It's like, <laughs> what do you mean? Pretty much what the fuck happened to me? I like I have hey. evidence. If I ever find it, I'm going to show you. You're lying if you show me. <laughs> what the fuck? Life be like that, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Man, Life be like that. Bob is fucking. Hey, this shit crazy. I man. think the, I think the actual transcript was. Uh, he said, "You'll never find it. It never happened." <laughs> man, look. Uh, all the thing I'm gonna say is that them, them eight years they all make sense. My nigga. <laughs> you ain't no you ain't no Perry Mason, my nigga. That was open and shut case, my nigga. I don't know what the fuck you got going on. You ain't you ain't you can't never, can't never be no public defender, my nigga. They throw in the book at your yeah, motherfucker, man. That's nigga. I, don't know, I, I don't even know what's being talked about anymore. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here. Oh my god! Uh, oh, you know, that was a funny ass I'll say it after I'm just talking <laughs> about regular life. It'd be like that. Regular life. Yeah, pretty be like much. That, bro. Pretty much. Hey, Jack. Pretty much.
they What's brought up? they brought it up to him today. He said, "I don't know nothing about that." <laughs> they brought it up to him today. Yeah, bro, I said, "Look, when we were first talking about, I said I can't find if I can ever find. I'm gonna show you." That man said, "He said he he, he was looking for it a year ago. We ain't worried about that no more, nigga. I couldn't find it. <laughs> I just forgot about it two days ago. When I found oh, that, I found it. When I found that, I found it. <laughs> what the fuck?" He said, I'm going to go get Gaiazzo Premium. And I'm going to go get Gaiazzo Hey, man, you can't win for losing, chat. That's all I know. I love y'all, man. Tarek Ahmed, NyQuil versus Good Gaming. Which one is more potent? Tarek, you got to stop hating on... on I love uh, You got to stop hating on Good... Game. You got to stop hating on Kofi and J-Main, bro. Like, like that, I wish it was that. still alive, though. I wish it was still alive. They went pre-record. I wish it was still alive. <laughs> you, dumb, dumb as our guys, man. Like, I was just, I was just in there... Jack. What was the, the real about story Kendrick about the dissolution of PSP? The cancellation of PSP. Well, I can't get all the way into it, but Kofi had some personal shit going on. That's it. And he was like, with he Mocha? was that was a Mocha too. Nah, at no. this time Kofi was already getting busy with shit, so we was doing like pre-recorded podcast, changing the days. And then at one point he was like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to continue the podcast. So we was like, fuck it. So like like a couple of months after that, he was like. The shit I was dealing with kind of cleared up a little bit, so I could bring like, well, he didn't, he didn't want to bring the whole PSP back. He just brought back good game. I and mean, J-Man was, wasn't even a co-host at first; it was just random people. But I mean, it was probably he was having a kid, so he was just busy. But what he should why, maybe he had something else. But I was, I mean, I assumed it was because he was having a kid, which is the smart no. thing to do. But I, I think he wasn't he, having a, he wasn't even having a kid back then. I, it was so I mean, it, 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 it takes it started, nine months. Like, but my whole thing is like he should just put the podcast on hiatus. I know, I know personally what it was. I ain't gonna put that out there. Maybe he'll put yeah, that out no, there one day. No. Yeah, yeah, no, I ain't gonna put that out there. But uh, no, I want, I want no kids. Shit. Y'all chemistry was better when it wasn't recorded. Hey, yo, uh, you mean when it was live? When it was live? Yeah, I mean, yeah, when it when nah, when y'all yeah, when y'all recorded it, it was way easier. Just, just, just to be, oh, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. let's let's get out of here now. Just to be, just to be messy, yo, uh, Kofi, I heard you owe, you owe, owe Erica some money, bro. You need to cough that shit up before she run up on you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna You're run up crazy. on you though. she gonna run up on you with that stick so i blame with that girl Kobe, shout out to Eric cuts man shout yeah, out i'm just being messy that's fam yeah. right there man that's fam right there man yeah, yeah she gonna run up she Look gonna run up on you family. with that stick with the switch on it bro you don't want that type of problems kofi oh nah, you going you crazy BG. um yeah we out of here <laughs> you going crazy chat man. has been real uh that's bond jack smooth blandrew alex and i'm bg and we will catch y'all next time. We are going to After Dark Discord. Anybody want to come through? Come through to After Dark. All right. This has been crazy. Yeah, I think I've read all the super chats. Let me do I'd more. say so. <laughs> yep. We're out of here. Tick, I'll see you in After Dark, man. Peace. I'll see you in After Dark. Uh, let me do a Manscaped ad real quick. Shout out to our sponsors, uh, Manscaped. Make sure you get that. Go shave your balls, bro. Some some of y'all got some of y'all got like I'm sure some of y'all sitting li- listening to this podcast with some hairy ass balls, bro. Go shave them shits, bro. Man, man to man, like no no ditty. Just go shave them joints. Thank you. This episode of Weapon Wheel Podcast is brought to you by the spring cleaning champions, Manscaped. Introducing the season's champ, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Their fifth generation trimmer features two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smoother wherever your heart desires. Or your body desires it also features dual led spotlights to guide you through the darkest winter debris navigate with confidence in your delicate areas hate making a mess don't worry about that this bad boy is waterproof shave in the shower in the bath or in the middle of the ocean wherever you want get 20 percent off and free shipping with code bghdr at manscape.com that's 20 percent off and free shipping with the code bghdr at manscape.com nothing like a little spring cleaning in your pants please use the link in the description on the jiggy tape like he just for what people. though wait one second what? uh we're still live I, I forgot one super chat forget me forget it brian he said pirating ensures game preservation right alex yes sir yeah okay I now agree. we can get out of here now we now we're out officially and we're moving to after dark no 
right? Right. <laughs> plenty of tried and plenty of fell. You can run and hide, but you can't die dressing my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hill. Right. I know my bro can't got me. See, that's a black bond that can't be broken. No Idris Alba, I'm a black bond. Damon, a scoping. All black panel, you can never try playing as token. Yeah, we playing games, but now one of us playing a joking. Not at all. Oh, wait. Then Jack Move came in with the trophies, God in the lane of his own. Like, how can you gamers approach me? So kids move to body, you went Halo, then sing your family an angel emoji. You should have known, dog. you ain't got enough Series X's. Blind got all the answers, no, you ain't got to ask Siri questions. All the latest gaming news, gotta be here to check it. Since 2015 and beyond, I'm just here to respect it. When you at the top of your tier, it's a blessing. From the bottom, so no way we appear to be desperate. Nah. This for anybody doubting, I'm clearing a message. Yeah. And if you ever had a problem, plenty I'm here to correct like plenty of fell. You could run and hide, but you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hell. Name another squad that wanna test it, I'm beating them still. No, you can't dodge what's in my weapon well. Name another pot that's big or small, I'm contesting it still. Name another spot or any section, I'm king of the hill. Right. I know what it is, man. Weapon well podcast, y'all know what we got in the building, man. We got BG. We got Cash Move, we got Jack Move, we got Black Bond, I mean. Blandrew, I mean, what you. You can't all strafe us, bro. Like, the strafe too strong.